Today we're doing a 100% speedrun of Batman Arkham Asylum. We'll start the speedrun as soon as we get past the first loading screen, and right away we'll see that Joker is free because he got out of our restraints. Now the starting cutscenes in this game is basically Batman taking Joker into the asylum, but him also thinking Joker went in a little too easy, and the reason behind that is he was actually planning this entire thing. So now we have this where we have to take out all of these guys, and yeah, he's just gonna have a bunch of guys for us to attack. While we're waiting for him to finish his dialogue though, we we can start opening this grate because that's going to open up a trophy for us later and then we'll kind of just wait here until this electricity is gone and we can start fighting these people and in general we are at the start of the game so the fighting is going to be pretty simple what we want to do is get them onto the ground and then we can do a takedown attack so we'll just repeat that over and over again getting everybody done and that's going to be all the people in this part we can also now go into this vent and get our first riddler trophy which is going to be one out of 240 collectibles yeah there there are a total of 240 collectibles that we have to get throughout this game and these include things like trophies riddles tapes all sorts of stuff so we'll be going over every single one of these to get the 100 speed run but for right now we're kind of just waiting for the joker to let us go through he's monologuing for way too long but eventually he will get rid of that electric gate and we can start running forward we also want to use our batarang to hit that joker tooth in each building there are going to be a total of 20 joker teeth and you get one collectible once you take care of five Five, one collectible when you take care of 10 and finally one collectible when you take care of 20 so we want to destroy those as we go on our way and yeah that's just another thing we have to worry about those are also one of the most important things to keep track of because if i miss any of them then my speed run is basically over because it's going to be impossible to figure out which one i did miss so yeah i really have to be on my a game for pretty much the entire speed run otherwise some bad things are going to happen but anyways we're now going through here we're going to take out this dude by using our battering heading down down here and we can just use a takedown on him so yeah pretty easy now we just have to wait for the next cutscene, which is going to end up being harley quinn unfortunately for her though we are going to be skipping that so sorry harley i do love you but you got to do what you got to do when you're speed running now joker has locked us in this room so we're going to have to start heading out right through this vent and yeah batman really likes going in vents in this game which isn't the best thing in the world because a lot of these are really nasty especially when we get later into the game but in general they're just a good way to get through places especially when every everybody on the map is trying to kill you also through this vent there is going to be one of these trophies as well and then we can get out the other side by the way whenever i'm getting through these grates i'm both spamming the a button on my controller and the space button on my keyboard that just makes it a little bit faster so it makes sense to do now i want to start that guy's dialogue before i destroy those teeth and we'll kind of just wait here decontamination just got closed up because joker is trapping all these people with a bunch of joker toxin the good thing is though it's only at the bottom of the room so we we can go in through the top and save all of them so i'm going to be going through another vent system you can see they're already starting to get nastier like all those cobwebs and stuff i do not pity batman's job but i guess it's what you got to do then we're going to jump through here you can see people are like hanging off and begging me to come help them but that also seems like a lot of work so i'm just going to ignore them we're going to go straight for this so we can destroy the joker toxin so i mean we kind of helped they might still fall to their death but that doesn't really seem like my problem and then we're heading back through so we can actually actually meet with the joker and get in his first like mini boss fight we don't actually fight him you'll just see what i mean in a second anyways we're gonna take out those dudes and now we just kind of have this hallway to run through we can take out another one of those set of joker teeth he's like yo look at my dude and yeah this is what his plan is he's going to turn a lot of the enemies into whatever this thing is so that's a little scary now what we want to do is not actually fight this guy because it's faster if we just let him hit us over and over again so we're gonna go into the corner and just just let him keep smacking us and yeah eventually it'll be good i also don't really want to get out of the corner but he keeps trying to hit me out of it it's a little annoying but finally he'll do that attack and after that happens he's gonna start having a heart attack and yeah you can see that the formula that joker is using isn't perfect just yet so yep yeah, i'm lucky for that guy but i mean it happens and the joker also escaped so that's unlucky as well thankfully this guard is now able to wake up so he can let us through these and we can also get our first upgrade this upgrade is going to be the critical combo strikes which makes the combat in this game extremely 
fun. We'll have to wait until we get a big group of enemies for me to show you what exactly it is. But yeah, just trust me for now. It makes this game awesome. Anyways, while we wait for our next cutscene, I'm also going to get this Riddler trophy. And then eventually, Joker's going to come on there and be like, it's the Joker, baby. And I'm going to be like, I don't really care, man. Bye forever. So yeah, that's the first little part done. But now we have to actually go and save Commissioner Gordon because Joker is holding him. But first, we have to wait for this door to unlock. And for that to happen, the map has to unlock. So yeah, just a bit of waiting in this game. And in general, this is a really good speed game because almost all of the cutscenes you can skip and even the dialogue where Batman walks slowly, we can skip that as well. But we're going to be heading over to the right. There's going to be two people right here. Uh, we won't use our critical strikes just yet because they aren't that efficient we can just go in for a couple of attacks and yeah it's just two people then we want to go into the holding cells we'll go right here and use our detective abilities to isolate a forensic trail so we can go after the alcohol to find where we need to find commissioner gordon and for this i don't really need to use my detective mode because i already know where to go i mean i've played way too much of this game but yeah we're just heading over in this direction before we make it in that door though there are a couple more of these joker teeth i want to get there's those two and finally that one before we head in this door and we're going to be trying to go up the elevator but unfortunately for us harley quinn comes down and completely destroys it she doesn't want us dealing with joker just yet and is trying to stall us so that's a little bit annoying and because of that we are now going to have to do some movement and in general batman also has some really cool movement obviously he has going through vents but the best thing about his move set is using the grappling hook because you can see it's very fast and can help us at pretty much everywhere so we'll use one of those as well just to make sure we go as fast as possible duck under this stuff and yeah it's just a pretty rocky terrain then we have this very slow shimming section where you know you got it batman i believe in you <laughs> look he's trying his best and to be fair i probably couldn't do much better than this so anyways we have now made it to this section which means we're almost at the top all i have to do is then go up here we have some more crouching stuff like that and finally we make it over to this section where we're going to be able to use our analysis to see one of the chronicles of arkham that's another one of the collectibles we're gonna have to get throughout the game we'll also get that joker tooth and now it's time for our critical combo strikes so for this you have have to press the combo strike immediately after your last hit so i have been doing it pretty bad this fight i'm not gonna lie but in general it helps out a lot if you do it you can see we got that combo strike we got that one as well and these guys were just scattered in a really weird place don't worry i'll show it off better later anyways now we're gonna be going through the vents and yeah just continuing on our way to get to commissioner gordon oh and also on the other side of here we see these two guards who die right after that guy said i have a kid so that's pretty sad. But you know, it's a Batman game. What are you expecting? Now, for this part, we don't actually want to fight these people. All we want to do is roll past them and hope we don't die because that's way fast. <laughs> <laughs> then we can hit that guy and we're going to try to open this grate before he wakes up sometimes he will wake up sometimes he just gets defeated just with a batarang it's a little weird but we did pretty well right there and now we're getting into the last room of intensive treatment for now so it starts out with this dude we can hit him with a batarang and then we're going to do a ground takedown after that we're going to go up here and we can do another takedown where we slam his head into the bar and that just looks really painful and finally there's going to be one more person who's running towards us as soon as he comes though i hit it with the batter egg and yeah goodbye dude so yeah that was pretty easy now while we're waiting for the joker to talk we're going to be heading over here because there are going to be a couple of joker teeth that we can take as well might as well collect those and eventually the joker is going to send in some more guys so now we have to take care of these dudes too what i'm going to do is hit that guy with the battering hit that guy as well and then come down where i can go and use my finishing moves on them if i can not get blocked by the terrain please all right dude i need you to stay down thank you very much <laughs> he just got back up and right away i'm just like no you're not doing that then we get that guy nice and easy that's gonna be all them done so pretty much we just have to wait a second for joker to talk again and eventually it will send us to this guy who is not looking the best but gordon isn't in this building so now we have to find out where he went instead now what we want to do here is jump and then immediately once we hit the ground crouch so what that does is basically it's going to skip all of the riddler's dialogue because here's where the riddler shows up so because we restart from the last checkpoint we just don't have 
have to deal with him and listen to whatever he's saying. Now from here, we want to do a couple of the Riddler's puzzles. And yeah, that's who organized all 240 of the collectibles. So yeah, we're just on like a wild goose chase to get everything while he just makes fun of us <laughs> the entire time. So we got the riddle that was going to be that portrait over there. We kind of just wait for the Riddler to finish talking. And eventually this guy is going to show up and be like, oh, good job. You know, you could have been around to help, but I guess that was too much work. I also do want to head back up here because there's going to be one more riddle we have to solve before we leave, which is this where I want to make this question mark appear by using my detective mode. So how... How is that not aligned? Yeah, these are really tricky because if you're a little bit off, then it just doesn't work. How is this not aligned? There we go. Okay, that was weird, but we eventually got that riddle as well. Anyways, now we're gonna talk to our boy, but not really talk to him. We're just gonna skip everything just like usual. Look, I'm Batman. I gotta be antisocial and stuff. And now we're going through this door. You will see that there's a trophy on the other side of that wall, but right now we don't have the tools to get it. So we're gonna have to backtrack and come back here later. That's basically just what the 100% speedrun is about we're also going to go and get that riddle which was checking out the radio and now we can head out of the building going through some more vents which these ones are especially nasty like there's both spider webs all this like vegetation and stuff but don't worry it's only going to get worse from here i wonder if that was an intentional design choice to make the vents worse and worse the more you get into the game but anyways now we've made it to the whole island where batman's going to look at it i don't really worry about that though because instead i'm just going to go and take a picture of that building which is going to be our next riddle and by the way, a lot of the times I'm going to say take a picture when in reality, I mean scan. I don't know. There's just something weird about my brain. But anyways, now we're learning. Batman. Bat. Bat. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Anyways, as I was saying, that was some weird stuff but some people are attacking the batmobile so now we have to go protect it and on our way we're also going to want to get another upgrade which is going to be the twin battering and we can use that right away on these guys i'm going to go behind them and sometimes the twin battering works sometimes it doesn't that time i guess we got lucky and then we can do takedowns on both of those guys before being on our way before opening any door you have to defeat all the enemies by it so that's why we're doing that in pretty much every section and now hopefully i can actually show off the critical strikes a little better and okay yeah this is what we're trying to do it feels so satisfying when you get it right and yeah they're all already dead literally one of the easiest things of my life now we can open up the batmobile where we're going to get our next gadget which is going to be the explosive gel and this thing is extremely useful so first of all we'll go ahead and use it right on this plank we can then explode it and we'll see one of the riddler's trophies so that's nice and easy secondly we'll also go over here into this building and yeah basically anytime there's a wall that isn't too strong we can use the explosive gel to deal with it and just be on our way and that also was a secrets map basically that shows you where all the collectibles in this part of the map are obviously we don't really need it because we already know where they are but it also counts as a collectible too so we kind of got to get it anyways we're going to go through this place because that door is actually closed so we have to go an alternate way and we'll just be on our way until we can make it to the hospital where gordon is right now and on the way to the hospital there's going to be one more trophy down in this little puddle that then we can go back up here and in general rather than running if we can use our grappling hook and then fly it's going to be just a little bit faster well i guess the grappling hook is a lot faster and then flying i think is faster i'm not exactly sure though but i mean just look at how much better speed that has than just plain running but anyways we have to go into the hospital a little bit of a weird way because obviously we can't just go in the front and yeah we'll now walk down here go into the door and we're inside of the maintenance access entrance so from here it's time to go through some more vents Oh, by the way, one thing that I haven't really mentioned before is that the Riddler is going to be in our ear the entire speedrun. Every time we pick up one of his collectibles, he's going to be like, oh, wow, that was one of the easy ones or something along those lines. But as we get more and more, he gets a bit more unhinged. I mean, we can see what he'll say for this one. He's yeah, that was one of the easy ones. Wow. I predicted exactly what he would say, but yeah, he's a little bit annoying. It feels good once we actually defeat him and get all these trophies. Anyways, in general, we're just going to the main part the sanatorium where right away we want to use our explosive gel on this wall then i'm going to grappling hook up that's not where i was trying to grappling hook then as i was saying i'm going to grappling hook up there and we can explode these two guys first use our twin battering to hit those two people and knock them down before doing some takedowns and after that we might as well head over here where we're going to get one of these patient interviews and this one is going to be with the riddler i think the riddler has some of the most interesting patient interviews we will get a chance to really listen to all of them as we get through the run anyways before we actually go and like say hi to the doctors and be like hey i saved you we got some more riddles to get you know batman's just kind of obsessed with them 
at this point. So we can get that one, which is the perspective one. We can get that one where there are literal dead bodies. Does anyone ever clean this place? And we can also get this one, which is going to be one of the Chronicles. So feels good before heading back down and then getting back up. And by the way, I might as well go and get the triple battering, another upgrade right now, which is gonna help us mostly with just getting Joker teeth. That's the biggest reason why we wanna upgrade it. But yeah, now we just have to hit this wall as well and get that trophy before finally heading up and meeting with the doctors. And also this meeting is really funny because we just stand in front of her. She's like, Batman over here. And I'm like, I'm literally right here. But it takes her a moment to register that we're right by her, which is kind of hilarious. Anyways, basically what they tell us is that there are other doctors who have been taken away and we got to go rescue them before we get to Gordon. So the first one we're going to be getting to is in the observation deck. And yeah, we'll just slowly go on our way. There are going to be two guys right here so I can go kick both of them, try to do these finishers, hit him with a smack, easy. And as soon as we make it in this door, there are also gonna be two more people. I'm gonna switch to my multi-battering. It doesn't let me for a second. Because we have to use the D-pad to access all of our tools, it's a little bit finicky. Not my favorite way to access them, but I guess there isn't too much of a better way to do it. And now it's another one of these rooms where there's a bunch of Joker toxins. So we gotta go in from the top and save people from there. There's also gonna be a couple of Joker teeth that we have to get, which I really don't want to miss. And the multi-battering definitely helps with that. I'm not sure if that got stopped or not. Okay, it looks like we got that one. I always make sure because there was a run that I completely lost just to missing that. And yeah, I really don't want that to happen again. Then after this, what we'll do is we'll hit that guy, make him collapse. But there's actually a reason. It's not just because we're mean. And we'll get that one. Then we can head down here and we can see that he let open that roof. So now we can hit that button along with another one of those Joker teeth on top of there. And then finally, before the next cutscene, we want to take a picture of that stuff so we can get another riddle done. So yeah, a lot of stuff to do in this room very quickly, but we got it all done and feels pretty good. Now we can see our two boys, not really worry about them because instead I'm worried about going and getting this interview tape. And this interview is interesting because it starts talking about the Titan process, which if you've ever played this game, you already know what it is, but it's basically the thing that the Joker is using to take over Gotham. We'll hear more about it later, but for now, we can go and get this present. The Joker is going to leave a bunch of these presents around the map, and they're really nice because they just pop us out teeth, and I don't really have to worry about finding them anywhere else. So I actually appreciate them, to be honest. But now we're heading into surgery. We're in surgery. There's going to be this guy, and yeah, we're going to have to save him. He's just sitting there kind of hanging out, but then there's going to be some people that show up, and now we have to actually attack them. For this one, it is definitely one that I want to get a good combo going so I can get these critical strikes, and yeah, I just just want to have my timing really well there's going to be these guys who show up and this looks perfect i think we only have to take out him and that was actually an amazing fight okay i'm really proud of that one so now joker's like wow that wasn't too impressive and i mean in my opinion that was pretty impressive but we're going to save the doctor and not really worry about what the joker has to say to us right now so that's going to be two doctors saved and now there's only one more to do but before that there's going to be another one of these presents we're going to take out those two teeth right there and that tooth to make 11 so we only need nine more. We can head through this vent where we're also going to get another one of these Riddler trophies and make our way over to the x-ray room, which this is actually a really long hallway. I don't know why they needed to make it this long, but at the end of it, there's going to be a couple people. So I'm going to sneak behind them so I can hit them with that stuff and stun them all perfectly. And that means we can then take two people out with the takedown, kick the other person, or I guess punch him that time. And yep, yeah, they're all gone. Okay, next we are actually in the x-ray room and this has a pretty cool way of solving it. First, we're going to set explosives on this door and then we're going to come up here so that we can go to the top both getting this Riddler trophy and also heading down the other side where there's going to be another wall that we can explode too. Then finally we can set them both off at the same time take care of all the people and just be on our way pretty much. So yeah that was pretty easy and now it's time to go back on our mission to finding Commissioner Gordon. On the way though there is going to be another one of these presents and this time it has a person inside of it. I don't know why this person would agree to being trapped in a present. I, I would not do that for anyone, even if it was the Joker and, you know, if I was a supervillain. But I guess you got to do what you got to do when you're trying to be evil. Anyways, at this point, it is now time to head back to the sanatorium and we'll see these people all around a body. They're like, hey, we got to go get our notes and stuff. And we're like, hey, go hide because there are these people showing up. And yeah, for these people, we're just going to completely ignore them. 
I love that so much. I can also try to hit that through the gate. We didn't exactly get it, but it's not too much of a problem because we're going to be coming back here later. And yeah, now we can listen to the Joker. As you can probably get from what he's implying, it's time to face our fears, which means we're now going to go against Scarecrow, which is also why Batman's coughing at this point, which the Scarecrow parts are probably my favorite part of this entire game, but we'll get to it in a second. First, we got to watch some people die in a cutscene. We skip, you know, it happens. Then we can explode this wall and we'll just be going through because we got to take the alternate entrance, which just requires a bunch of alternate platform and stuff like that until we make it here where we're going to see Commissioner Gordon getting dragged away. So that's pretty messed up. I'm going to be honest, if I was Batman, I wouldn't be too confident about chasing after him. I mean, this looks scary, but I guess that's also why I'm not Batman. I'm kind of a wimp. Anyways, we're now going to go through this and check out our old friend. Hopefully he's not dead, but those hopes are not exactly true because, yep, we look at him and he's gone. Also, for some reason, Batman's eyes are red, but I'm sure that doesn't have anything to do with anything. So we're going to close his eyes for the last time and we got to go and find his killer. Now on the way, we're also going to call Barbara, who, by the way, is Oracle, the person we're always talking to, and they're Gordon's daughter. She also used to be Batgirl, but in this game's continuity, basically the Joker messed with her, she can no longer move, and now she just helps us from afar. So anyways, it's time to see our dad. Then we'll see our mom. And finally, we get to see my favorite parent, Scarecrow. What a goofball. Always love to see that guy. Anyways, that's going to put us in a very interesting spot where, yeah, this is our lives now. So this is the first Scarecrow section, which, like I said, probably my favorite sections. They're just really cool. We are going to skip this first cutscene, but basically the Scarecrow is now gigantic and he's going to be looking around the entire map to try to catch us. As long as we don't get caught by the light, though, we should be fine. So I am going to be very careful about this. I won't rush it as much as I probably could. And that was a little embarrassing, Batman. You could have like actually went up there, but. But yeah, I'm going to take my time at least to a certain extent because losing here wastes a lot more time than just waiting a bit. Oh yeah, also by the way, every time lightning strikes, we turn into Scarecrow, which is a really cool effect. Kind of creepy the first time I noticed it though. But we're gonna set off an explosion here, which is gonna cause Scarecrow to start looking at us. Luckily for us though, he's kind of dumb. So we can just run through there nice and easy. And he's just gonna stay looking at that place so we don't even have to worry about him catching us anymore before we finally make it over here and we're able to shine the bat light right at him. This is going to be like getting through the toxins or whatever is going on. And yeah, he's dead or not really dead. I guess like dead in our imaginations. We're still going to see him like two more times, but now we're going to call Barbara. We're also going to get that riddle as well before heading out and checking on Gordon. And who would have guessed it? It wasn't actually Gordon that died. It was just a random guard. Yeah, the fear gas is kind of messed up, man. Anyways, at this point, Joker's like, hey, why don't you just go crazy? It's a lot more fun. But you know, Batman would probably never do that. Probably. And after he's done talking, we can now go past these people. They want to fight, but that also seems like a lot of work. So I'm just going to talk to you guys later. And we'll get a couple of the teeth on our way before we make it into this room where Commissioner Gordon is actually going to be. Now he has Harley Quinn right by him. And for this room, we can't get caught by any of the guards. Otherwise, Harley is going to kill Gordon. So the most important thing for this part of the game is just being fast. As long as we're fast, we have a very good set path we can take and we should be fine. But you know, first it just requires us going through some vents just like normal. Then we'll make it to this exit where we can get out of here. And right here, I need to make sure I don't run. Otherwise that guy will surely be alerted. I can take him out. We have to make sure we finish him. And then this is all about being fast. As long as we're fast enough, there is no way for Gordon to die. But it is a little scary because there is a guy coming at me. I haven't messed that up in so long, but my heart always kind of races at this part because I'm like, what if it did happen this time? But anyways, we finished it out. We can take care of Harley and talk to Gordon. Now we do skip the cutscene, but basically what happens here is we learn that Bane has been experimented on by the doctors in this facility. So now he's trying to attack us and yeah, he really doesn't like those doctors. So for this, all we have to do is when he charges at us, we're going to throw a projectile at him and then we can punch him two times and yeah, that's one hit done. We have to get a total of three hits. So we're just going to wait over here. Hopefully he's He's going to charge at us and boom easy for this fight you can't be too far away from him but you also can't be too close to him so it's a little bit finicky to go as fast as possible but we've done pretty well so far we just have to do one more he'll also punch the ground which is nice because none of the guys will come after us and dude seriously oh my gosh Okay, we got kind of unlucky there. Bane, I need you to run after.
after me, bud. You, you can do it. Okay, there we go. A little bit of a time loss, but that's fine. It's also going to be slow motion for a little bit longer than I would have liked. But finally, we can hit him two more times. He's going to get taken out. And yeah, that's the Bane boss fight done. Also, we have some time to kill anyways, so we might as well just beat up random people for fun. So I'm <laughs> just going to keep practicing my critical strikes. And yeah, we get him done after this cutscene, which of course, just like usual, we're just going to skip. Now we make it out of the building and we're now in this sector and our purpose purpose is now to go over to the bat cave but on the way there's going to be a couple of collectibles like that trophy right there there's also going to be one of these interview tapes which we can go through and we can come over to this section where we're going to want to use our grappling hook and also our explosive stuff to get one of the chronicles we can zoom in right here so we get a good view at it and there we go nice and easy which then is going to lead us to yet another trophy so yeah that is four trophies er I guess collectibles in very quick succession. Then from here, we're really going to want to use our grappling hook for most of our movement or pretty much as long as we can, we're going to want to use it because it's just so much faster than running. Batman is not the fastest person in the world, but we are going to want to run here because there are going to be a couple of these Joker teeth that we have to take out. Like I said, within buildings, there are 20 total Joker teeth, but within each section of the city, there's going to be 10 we have to take care of. So yeah, just a lot of Joker teeth that I have to make sure that I miss literally none of them because they are impossible to find even if you have the map with all the collectibles it doesn't tell you where joker teeth are so yeah it can be very frustrating but now we're going to be heading up here i almost got hit there or i guess i did and that's just because it's going to be faster to fly through here rather than just trying to run and yeah like i said it is now time to head over to the bat cave we're going to be going over to dead man's point to go over there first we can get this chronicle and we're almost there all we have to do now is place some explosives on this one wall because because that's going to reveal another one of these trophies. And finally, we can head up here and do a really cool cinematic dive into the Batcave. Unfortunately, you will miss that because, you know, we're skipping the cutscene, but it looks cool. You can <laughs> take my word for it. But yeah, now we're in the Batcave, so we want to see what exactly the plan with Bane was, and we're also going to be getting our next gadget. We can go right up to the computer, and yeah, we kind of learn that Joker is going to be trying to create super soldiers, and we don't really want that to happen. We also now get the Bat claw which is a really cool thing and so cool that batman just stares at it awkwardly <laughs> a few seconds come on man i'm trying to speed run anyways bat claw is nice to have because now we can pull stuff over if i select the right thing there we go now we can pull stuff over and use it in a lot of different places so we'll be heading out of the bat cave in the opposite direction and over here we're going to want to use our bat claw to get through this vent yeah we can also use it to get through the higher vents now which is also going to be nice to getting all the collectibles but now we're in the old sewer system where what we're going to want to do is get that crime get through all that stuff and then just kick this guy or I tried to kick him to take him out right away but that was a little bit of weird movement he was also on a phone call so I kind of feel bad about that but I mean it happens and now there's just a bunch of people all in their joker face paint and stuff so yeah we just got to murder them too or not murder I keep saying murder but you know Batman definitely doesn't do that especially in these games anyways now we're gonna be going getting a couple of these Riddler teeth or Joker teeth whatever you want to call them we'll also explode this wall so we can get that Riddler trophy and then there's going to be two more Riddler teeth within the section and I keep calling the Riddler teeth it's Joker teeth look this speed run is a very long one and a very complicated one it does a lot of things to my mind but now we're in this section which is a really cool section because there are going to be a lot of trophies and a lot of platforming we have to do to get to them but we're not going to do most of this stuff just yet because we want to wait until we have better gadgets to actually be able to do it more efficiently but now we can head over there one of my batarangs hit the wall so we have to make sure we actually get that other joker tooth we can then head up here and yeah it's basically just heading upwards we will see that that is where one of the trophies is but like i said before we want to get that later instead of taking it now now right here i need to make sure i get all three of these joker teeth i've missed one of these before and it's ruined to run and yeah i really don't want to try to do this commentary while i'm playing this game again because yeah talking for so long it does get a bit exhausting but this is surely going to be the run especially because you're seeing me say this right now anyways we're just heading back out through here. There's 
going to be another one of these walls that we can explode with our explodey stuff. And during this cutscene, we can actually make this jump. So yeah, I'm always worried that Batman isn't going to be able to make that. And that would be pretty funny to be completely honest, but probably wouldn't be the best thing for time's sake. But now we're back in Arkham North. First over here, we want to go ahead and get that Chronicle. And then we'll also go up here. And on top of this building, we can use our grappling hook to get up here and get another Riddler trophy. And now once we're right here, we really don't want to get caught by any of Joker's men, which that guy is trying to shoot at me. But I guess that guy doesn't really matter as long as there are no ground men. So they don't stop us from getting through the doors. Like right here, we can't actually progress until we take care of these people. I forget if I've said that or not. I don't know. All the runs I've done are kind of blending together because it's been a busy day. All right. Anyways, we're going to take out these people just using some of our critical strikes and boom, that's going to be all of them done. We're also going to see two people just kind of hanging. That's a little unsettling, but you know, it happens, I guess. But we're now going to head up here where we can get one of these interview desks with the Joker. And we can also take out this guy trying to do something you're not going to be able to anymore. And now at this point, we're going straight over to the mansion. For this, there are going to be two snipers and we just want to keep rolling to stop them from trying to hit us. And yeah, they have bad aim. Then we can actually go up right besides them. And for some reason, they do not notice us at all. Even once we pull this down, it probably makes like a loud noise and stuff, but they have no idea. So where did Joker hire these people? Anyways, that leads us to a door. And now we're in the mansion where we're going to head over to this vent. First of all, to get our first Oh, okay, to get that, th there we go. As I was saying, to get our first Riddler trophy. They can also attack us during this animation, but it doesn't really matter as long as we're doing it because it's not gonna stop us or anything. But that's gonna be a Riddler trophy. Then we can go up here and we're gonna be using our grappling hook to go to the top of this and make it through this vent so we don't have to actually fight any of these people. In general, if there is the option not to fight people, I'm gonna take it because fighting people is kind of just a waste of time. So we can destroy that wall, get that chronicle and go through some vents until we make it over to the next room. Now from here, what we want to do is start going on top of these gargoyles. So yeah, we can have a fun time pretending we're Spider-Man and stuff. Good job, Batman. I'm proud of you. And head down to this door where what we're going to want to do is take care of these Joker teeth first and go through here. You're going to see that there's one guy trying to kill these two people. We're not going to let him. And yeah, now he's dead instead. Then we're not going to, okay, I didn't want to talk to you. <laughs> That was weird. I, I was just trying to run, dude. Why'd you make me do that? But anyways, as I was saying, we're not going to talk to those people, at least not much. And then for this room, we have a very specific way we want to do it. First of all, we're going to pull that guy down, go behind this corner and wait for these guys to show up. So then we can hit them with the Batarang and that's going to knock them out. So that means we can get a couple of free takedowns right here. And in general, a good thing to use is pulling people over with our bat claw. So we're going to use that... I. Dude, you're being very annoying right now, man. Okay, that was that was just rude. But yeah, this is going to be a very good way to take care of people, especially because they have this long animation. So we have time to deal with other people while we're waiting for that person to fall down. Finally, we'll get the last person. We can just do another takedown on him and we can talk to the two boys tied up and rescue them. So that's gonna be this room done for now. We're gonna ignore this guy thanking us or whatever he's trying to say because we're going over to Dr. Young's office. Now to start out, this is just some general running until we make it over to this vent then I am going to use the back claw to actually open that because the animation for the back claw is always going to be faster than trying to open them with our hands. So it just makes sense to use as long as I remember. That's more of the problem. Will I actually remember? But we can also get that riddle before we come through here. Now we're going to be in this section above everybody where there's going to be a nice trophy there and also a nice vent for us to go through so we can fight our next few people. At this point, there are a couple of Joker's people trying to make it into Dr. Young's office and and, you know, we don't really want that to happen. So we're just going to take them out from afar and start doing some more takedowns. And also for this one, we'll do two takedowns and then one kick. That'll finish off everybody extremely easy. Now we want to wait until we can zoom in. For some reason, it makes you... Okay, th there we go. For some reason, it just it doesn't let you zoom in for a second. So we have to wait. But yeah. We got that Riddler thing as well. Now we can go on through here and we're going to be making it into Dr. Young's office, the Batman way, which for some reason is going in a lot of events. I feel like this is more of a Spider-Man thing, but maybe Batman was the original guy who did it. Now we see that someone has already taken the formula that we're trying to get. So we're going to get their handprint so we can find where it went. And while Batman is trying to find that, I'm just going to look at this thing because this is going to be our next riddle. We just have to wait a bit until the game actually lets us scan it. 
But as soon as that is done, we should be able to. There we go. Riddler just like always is like, oh, you shouldn't be proud of that. Man, I'm trying my best, all right? Stop being mean to me. But as soon as we make it out of there, there's going to be another group of guys. These aren't really the hardest guys in the world, though. Like, they're kind of getting destroyed, just like usual. We can get a couple of these crit strikes. Okay, I that wasn't exactly a crit strike. But yeah, that should be all of them. As soon as we do this takedown, punch this guy a couple more times, and there we go. We're also going to want to make sure to get this interview tape as well which is going to be the scarecrow interview now the scarecrow interview in my opinion is like probably the most interesting one i think it's probably split between the riddler one and the scarecrow one but yeah scarecrow's a bad guy man <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're going to get those Joker teeth from that present in there, go through this doorway, and now go on to this gargoyle, where from here we can do one of these takedowns where we do a gigantic swoop. I have no idea how none of these people are paying enough attention to stop me. But now it is a very big group of people that I want to have some really good fighting against. I want to make sure that I time my counters and stuff well, which I thought he was countering me there. Oh, and I said I wanted to time it well. It's really hard when there is a big group of people be just because there's everyone to deal with. With. But yeah, I mean, that wasn't the worst fight I've ever done. We took care of them. We can also stop by this painting. So we get that riddle, which is going to be the main man in the main hall. And we'll come over here. There's going to be a joker tooth right there. There's going to be a riddle, which is that like hand thing. I don't know exactly what that is. And a couple more joker teeth as well. Then we can come up here where there's going to be another one of these explodey walls. And that's going to house another one of our chronicles. And then there's also this right here, which is going to be one of these question marks. So I just have to line that up fairly well nice and easy before then another thing which is going to be in this vent yeah in some of these areas there's just so much different stuff and i'm going to make sure i got all those teeth all right we're good so anyways we go in this vent where there's going to be a nice picture of like a smiling face so kind of appreciate that and now we have to take care of two more people until we make it into our next room for these guys i can just go and pull their faces and yeah because of their long animation i have plenty of time to deal with them and take them both out which means now we're going into the room where the formula actually is but before we can get that it's time for the library where we're going to be doing some more fighting now it has these guys with the knives and we have to stun them before we can take care of them so they're a little annoying to be honest i'm just gonna try my best to do a pretty good fight and as long as i do something thing fairly well i'm pretty happy with this room i had one fight where i actually did it perfectly once that was pretty good you know i'm pretty proud of that one actually now we just have to save a couple of hostages but before that batman has to get his collectibles you know it just is what it is sometimes you got to do it and then we're actually going to be heading upwards even though the hostages are downwards or i'm going to try to head upwards batman please get the right thing but yeah there's going to be this vent which we're also going to open up because we can't actually just go downstairs what we have to do is is drop a chandelier on them so we'll be going through here we now have to rescue the hostages we only have two minutes to do it which you know batman surely he only has two minutes to save these people it's not like he cares more about collectibles than saving people's lives right like there's absolutely no way he would go into one of these vent covers open it up instead of just collapsing the chandelier who would ever do that and there's no way he would take that trophy and then finally go back and actually do what he needed to do yeah okay that was kind of a dumb bit I'm gonna be honest, but all right we got that done now we can hop right over here and actually save the people that we have to save they're gonna be right next to this present which is gonna try to sucker punch us but you know we're batman we would never get hit by that and finally we can talk to this person who we're not actually gonna talk to because i do not care what you have to say before finding the formula and yeah we now know the formula but i'm pretty sure that joker knows it too i don't know basically what batman says is oh it's never that easy is just taking the formula so i assume the joker also has the formula i don't know anyways now we have to go and save dr young because she's being attacked by zaz but before we get in there it's time for our next scarecrow scene so yeah at this point inside of the building it's going to have a ton of rain stuff like that and yeah things are just going to get more and more depressing now the paper's falling and we're going to be going into batman's backstory i guess i should explain it in case anyone doesn't know when batman was just a child he went to the movie movies with his parents and then they decide to go down a certain alleyway and within there they got mugged and both of his parents actually ended up dying so yeah pretty depressing stuff to be fair he probably should have been to therapy like three times already but yeah all in all pretty tragic backstory for our boy batman now it's going to get more and more realistic we're now actually in the alleyway things are starting to go very wrong people are dying and meanwhile i'm just like splish splash because i'm taking a bet i'm sorry I, I just like going under the water maybe not the best <laughs> 
didn't make that joke. Anyways, there are two dead parents, and Batman is so sad that he turns back into his child form, and this was also the start of where Batman started because of this happening to him. So now at this point, we can see that really only Commissioner Gordon actually cared about us. Other people were like, hey, he's got a butler. Who cares if his parents died? So yeah, not really the best support system around me that happens and we pretty much just have to walk slowly until all this dialogue is done okay finally after we say why for the second time we can turn back into batman and that means it's time for our next scarecrow section and this time as soon as we walk in we actually get to see scarecrow's big meaty claws so that's pretty cool and right away we're gonna want to start running to the right because we want to make the best cycle kind of similar to the last part we did with all the scarecrow sections of course i want to be more careful than not careful because getting caught loses just a little bit too much time for me to really want to get caught so yeah we just have to play this smart we'll wait out that one we'll just barely be able to make it over here and then do another one so we made it through the first part of scarecrow then we make it over here where scarecrow is actually now going to summon some skeletons right now it's a pretty small amount of skeletons but yeah we'll just explode them nice and easy and that'll get us through the first part now we can see that scarecrow is going to move and yeah we're pretty much just going to follow him i'm going to try to make this jump and okay we made it just with enough time that is nice and yeah, just being safe, I've messed up enough runs on this part, and I really don't want that to happen, so I will be coming up here, waiting out another one of these Scarecrow things. There's not really too much of a point of even rushing in the first place, because a lot of his cycles don't allow you to go too fast. I think it might be possible to make this cycle, but I don't really want to risk it. I'd rather just wait here for a second. He'll eventually turn back to the left, which means now we can go over here, and boom, that's going to be that part done. Which now Scarecrow is going to summon a lot more of these skeletons. We're going to set off another one of these explosives. We want all of them to gather around so we can get them all within the single explosive. And all right, now we're on to the final part of Scarecrow 2. Which for here right away, we want to go up here and do a grappling hook. Then we can make this jump. And what we're going to do here is as soon as we see the save game, we're going to want to restart from the last checkpoint. That's going to allow us to make the best cycle and just make it more consistent, to be honest. So we'll wait for just a second. We'll make that jump, make the jump by the pendulum. And as long as we're not bad at video games, I should be able to make it over here without getting caught. That is perfect. I'm gonna make sure I do not try to rush this at all. And okay, there we go. That is going to be Scarecrow 2 done. All we have to do is now make it over to the light source, shine it on him, and that's another easy section. Now, once we wake back up, we'll see that we're at the top of the tower. So I have no idea how we got here. And even Joker doesn't know how we got here. So we're gonna destroy this bell because I mean, might as well, I'm angry. And that's also gonna give us a pathway back to the bottom. Now from here, we can jump down. I'm going to try to do this where we can just get up here and get this Chronicle. So that was actually perfect timing by me i give myself way too much credit it was okay timing and now we're going to have to head over here so we can actually go and save dr young now before we do that though there is going to be a cutscene or like a really tiny cutscene that we can skip by pulling that guy with the bat claw then we'll go ahead and give that riddle and finally we can finish off that dude before heading over and seeing dr young but dr young is also going to be getting taken away so we're gonna have to save her but you know i don't really feel like doing it right away i'm gonna go up here first look sometimes you gotta go for the joker teeth first <laughs> you can't focus on the people come on so i will get those joker teeth then we'll be heading back down where we're gonna want to crouch on this wall and go on the corner and we have to wait for him to show his head so we can do it right there we'll hit him what what are you kidding me i do not know what just happened there i mean it's a fast reset i guess but that is really annoying especially since we have to go back and get these joker teeth again but i do not know what happened there i think maybe i stood up too fast and that messed it up i don't know but okay we'll try this again i'm gonna make sure i don't mess it up boom there we go okay <laughs> that was uh that was a thing that happened. And before that cutscene, we also want to get our next trophy. I'm not sure if I got it, but I'm pretty sure. And Dr. Young dies anyways, by the way. Uh, Harley Quinn comes over here and yeah, I'm lucky. Especially after that reset we have to do to save her. She just dies anyways. So it's really annoying to be honest. But we can take care of those people. Then we're going to want to do this riddle or not that riddle. We're going to want to pick up that secret map and then get this riddle right here before then going into detective mode where we can get this thing. And okay, I don't know if I actually 
got this riddle or not. Game, please stop doing your thing. Okay, riddle already solved. I guess I'm just dumb. It also looks like we did get the trophy we wanted. I just wanted to make sure because I don't want to lose time here later. And all right, that looks good. Now we can just head out of the building. When Harley came by, she also left another thing. So now we can go after her because we're going to be using her forensic trail now. So at this point, we want to do another one of these where we're going across the gargoyles. And now we want to do a pretty specific jump where basically... I make it through here without them seeing me and can make it inside the door. I thought I messed that up for sure. But yeah, we don't get caught by them, so it feels good. Now we can head up here. That was a really weird thing I got. But we're just going to be going out the same way we came in. And finally, we are now done with this building. Which means now it's time to go to the cells and see our girl Harley Quinn. Before that though, there's obviously going to be a couple more trophies we can get. The first one is going to be this trophy right over here. Then we can also head over in this section where pretty much for this part, there's no trophies we have to worry about. But there are going to be dudes that will attack us if they see us. So right here, I want to grapple onto this place, jump down, and basically just not get caught by these guys or at least try my best so I can make it through this door right away and that was perfect all right awesome now we can head over to this section where we can see there's a lot of people over there and also an ambulance that is about to fall down so that's kind of unlucky but we're gonna want to be heading straight over to these people because that's the next section we want to go to we can start attacking these people I want to go for the electricity guy first so I can get rid of his electric appliance because they're just more difficult to deal with and then we can go one by one using our critical hits just like normal pretty standard fight to be honest and hey now we're going into the cell block now at the beginning of the cell block their first is going to be one of these interview tapes and a couple of guys which we can use our batarang on take care of them just like usual using our takedowns and stuff like that as well as kicking that dude after our other takedown and from here we're basically just heading over to the entrance if i don't get caught by random stuff um there's going to be a couple of these joker teeth that we can get there and we'll also stop by the bathrooms because there's both going to be this riddle where we have to look at our reflection in the women's bathroom and a Riddler trophy in the guy's bathroom. Now over here, there's going to be that other Joker tooth. And yeah, this place is kind of annoying because everywhere we go, it has to scan us and just kind of takes a while. And we're also going to see that there's a lot of people in these cells and it probably wouldn't be the greatest thing if any of these people got free. But yeah, I'm sure that's not going to happen at all, right? Oh, we're also going to set that explosive off right there. We're not actually going to use it just yet because we have to come back here later once we get another gadget but it's good to open the place up before we see our girl poison ivy and unfortunately not talk to her but basically she was asking us to let her free because she has to go help her plants we obviously said no and that definitely won't come back to bite us now we're also going to go through here before we see the warden of the prison we want to get the clay face riddle because obviously clay face disguises himself as other people a lot of the time then we'll go through here we will get that one as well and finally we'll head up to the warden of the prison talk to him but then there's another cutscene where we see that harley quinn actually lets poison ivy go so yeah that's kind of unlucky for us especially because we were just talking to her but the warden is also going to give us the cryptographic sequencer i definitely did not say that right please don't make fun of me in the comments but this is going to be a very good tool because now we can use it at places like this to get through electricity so all i have to do is hack into this place using both of my joysticks and yeah, that gets rid of the electricity and we can move on. I'm also now at this point wanting to go back to do some more upgrades. We're going to get a range amplifier for it as well as a power amplifier. And we also might as well get the sonic battering and the sonic shock battering just because we might as well do something with all the XP we have. Then before we go out to meet with Harley Quinn, we're also going to want to go and open this cell so we can get another one of these trophies. This is a very small cell, kind of messed up conditions. I'm not going to lie, but we're going to be heading back through the poison island room where obviously she isn't here anymore we can get this though so that's nice and once we make it to this door there's going to be one person that jumps out we can very easily take care of them though you just have to punch them once for them to fall on the floor and then you can do a finisher on them now after this we see harley she's like yo and I'm like, hey, Harley, how you doing? And now she's going to electrify the entire floor. So that's a little annoying. And now to deal with that, we first have to take out all of her guys. So yeah, just another one of these sections where we're going to go around flipping, killing people. So I think with these couple of hits, that should be good for those people. We want to head over here right away so we can hopefully attack multiple people at the same time since they'll all be in this very small spot. And there we go. Just a couple more. And that should be the last person. So Harley gets upset leaves us and now we got some more hacking to do to get rid of the electric floor this is a pretty easy hack though 
not really a problem at all, to be honest. And yeah, we're good to go. So from here, there are gonna be a couple Joker teeth we have to get, that's two and number three, as well as we wanna get the picture of the gun so we can get that riddle solved. Then we're heading over to where Harley went. On the way, there is going to be one of these trophies and also a couple of these guys who are really annoying to deal with because they could jump on your head and that, that was stupid. Why'd you do that, man? But yeah, as long as we're kind, what is, was he floating there? What is going on with this game? Anyways, all right, that's those people done. We'll head through another one of these doors, which just leads us to another door. And then this is gonna lead us to Harley, who has two guards trapped, and they're also above electric water. So to save those people, we just have to go and hack into this stuff. She honestly could probably do some like harder hacks for us to do, but yeah, she's not the best, I guess. Though I do love Harley Quinn. Anyways, we save that person, and you know, there's only one other person we have to save. We have plenty of time before the two minutes are up so we'll go over here get this chronicle because you know you got to do what you got to do then from far away since we have the range amplifier we can get that one to get rid of that electric water and before we save this guy who is literally hanging we have to get one more riddle which is going to be right there and we can hit that with our batarang saving both of those people which harley is not going to be too happy about so she's like well now you only have 30 seconds to get out of here which to be fair is a lot of time i'm not even gonna lie i feel like she should have made this harder but you know, thank you, Harley. I appreciate it. We'll make it out of there, save those two people. And yeah, feels pretty good. I can also get a couple of these Joker teeth. They're gonna try to talk to me, be like, hey, how you doing? And I'm like, dude, stop talking to me. I'm trying to go fast. And now we're just going back through the same place we came in. There is going to be a riddle here though, after we take care of that guy. Come on, dude, why are you trying to attack me? But the riddle is going to be this room. If I can get it there, there we go. All right, so we got that one. We can get a couple more of these Joker teeth. That's going to be three right there. And we'll be heading straight forward where, well, first of all, we're getting some more Joker teeth. And once we make it over here, she's going to get rid of the electricity because now it's truly time for the Harley boss fight. Well, I mean, almost time. We have a couple more things to do. One of them includes looking in this room where we can go ahead, get that riddle. Then we're gonna be using our cryptographic sequencer and kind of cheesing the game a little bit because I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do this. But if we take the right angle we're able to deal with that stuff without having to go anywhere else so that's pretty nice so after that we can now head up these stairs where there are going to be two more trophies or i guess one of these is going to be one of these dialogue thing interviews i can't think of words right now it's already been an hour of doing this and the other one is going to be behind this wall so we will open that up go back down take that trophy and we'll also see if this guy is going to try to attack me so i'll attack him first and yeah now finally we can actually do the harley boss fight so yeah we're making some pretty good progress she'll let us through this door we can go straight through and for this boss fight we don't actually fight harley but we fight all of our guys so we'll start this out by just pulling someone's face towards us and yeah, after this, we're just going to be doing a lot of fighting, trying to get as many critical hits as possible, not getting hit ourselves, hopefully. And she's also going to electrocute the floors every once in a while, so we also have to deal with that. It doesn't do too much damage, so I am not really worried about it, but it also makes the prisoners try to escape, so that's a little bit annoying when that happens. But that's going to be those four done, so now we can go down to this section. There's going to be some people who have the electricity, so I want to take care of them. And I don't even know what's happening in this fight i've kind of just pressing buttons and hoping that it works out but that's going to be that person or almost that person please get taken out we got some more electricity people so i will aim for that guy first that man is really annoying just hitting me with a bar why do you have to do that man and i think this is the last group we have to deal with so yeah there we go harley is now done now unfortunately for harley the joker decides that he's just gonna leave her in prison so that's the last time we're gonna see her for this game which is pretty sad i love harley quinn you should go watch the harley quinn show but anyways now we learn that the next place we have to go to is the botanical garden. We're just gonna wait a second for all of this like fingerprint stuff to happen. We can also go ahead, get those two Joker teeth and get a map of the place so we can find all the secrets. Then we wanna head up to here where we're going to get one of those. And we're gonna wanna do hacking on number five specifically. And this is because pretty obviously that's gonna be the one with the trophy. So we can head over here, get this trophy. And then we're also going to use our stuff right there, which then we have to get through there get that chronicle and head upwards towards this place. That's because Harley actually trapped us in here because yeah, 
she's still trying to help the Joker even though he just abandoned her. But yeah, we make it out pretty easily. Sorry about that, Harley. And finally, we will also get that riddle as well before heading out of here. So yeah, a lot of stuff we had to do in this section, but we're making some pretty good time. The Joker is also going to drop all of his teeth over here so I can hit those. That... That, there we go. That's going to be the 20 Joker teeth for this area. And yeah, it's always good to see the 20 Joker teeth already done. In some areas, I have to go back later and get the rest of them, but I'd much rather just deal with them right away so I don't have to worry about getting all of them later. Now we're also going to take care of this dude. That'll be easy. And yeah, basically just on our way out, there are going to be a couple of enemies, which we just punch and they die. Like this guy. Goodbye forever, dude. I'm just going to hit you with one of those. And there's going to be this guy who's going to jump out of that grave what we can do is actually pull him and then we're just gonna leave him we're not even gonna finish him off because as long as we're fast enough we should be able to make it into the door and yeah pretty good so now we make it out of here where first of all we want to deal with this dude just take him down pretty easily and then head upwards onto the top of the penitentiary that's because there's going to be another place that we have to hack to get some more trophies and while we're waiting for that electricity to go off we can also go ahead and get this question mark if I can line this up. This is one of the weirdest ones for me. Okay game that should be good all right that one is not a very fun one to do but that's going to be that riddle we can get this trophy and we can also do that riddle which is just those guys sitting there so yeah pretty good stuff now it is time to go check out our girl poison ivy where it's also going to be this dude who's going to try to attack me i'm just going to roll through him sorry about that man and use our grappling hook to make sure that we can go a bit faster through arkham north from here pretty much just some more running for a bit until we make it through this doorway where there's going to be a dude just chilling there taking them out like everybody else we do and now we want to head on top of this tower we've done this before if i can actually make it up there and yeah we want to use this high vantage point so we can go to arkham east because yeah the botanical gardens are just pretty far away there are going to be a couple of these guys who will probably try to attack me if we're not fast enough hopefully we'll make it through yeah i'm pretty sure those guys just can't attack you if you're close enough to the door which is pretty funny but there is going to be this guy which we will have to take care of and then we can just keep being on our way now for from here, we want to go on top of this tower, which that was scary. I almost got attacked by that dude. We want to go ahead, hit those two Joker teeth, make sure those get hit, and then straight to the Botanical Garden. I think we got everything that we need. That's really the part that I worry about the most, just making sure I don't miss anything, because that's going to be the thing that would ruin our speed run. If we lose a little bit of time just making sure we get something, it's not going to be that bad. But if we miss some of these Joker teeth or something, things could go very badly. Now, what we do with those guys is we electrocute them because, you know, Batman definitely doesn't kill anybody. Then we'll actually hack through the electrocution ourselves. I don't even know why they put that there. It doesn't really help them. And we'll make it to the main part of the gardens. And normally you would have to fight everybody. And I guess I will. Okay, I'm not going to do this. We're going to restart from the last checkpoint because it's actually going to be faster to do that. But as I was saying, normally you would have to fight everybody. But what we're going to do is take that guy out with some stealth and we can just go through the door without having to deal with these people. Then there's going to be that other joker tooth right there there's going to be this memorial thing that we can take as well another joker tooth i think oh yeah it's right there and we'll head into this place where there's somebody we need to save and also a lot of people uh the thing about these guys though is they don't really notice us at all even though we're literally directly by them so that's kind of hilarious we can go take care of that stuff first and now we actually do have to fight them unfortunately but this is a pretty general fight besides the point that there are two people with harder to deal with weapons like this guy which we have to jump over there's also the knife guy and yeah this is just a little bit of an annoying fight it's a lot harder to do your crits when you have to deal with all the different kinds of people rather than just the regular grunts but okay we now got most of them taken care of i think we can just deal with that guy he should be the last person and now we can save carl todd so yeah pretty good stuff he's gonna be thankful i don't really care though and we're gonna be heading straight over to the interview tape where we get the poison ivy interviews then we can also go up into this section where there's gonna be both a trophy and a map for this building trophy will be on the left side and the map's gonna be on the right side but all right we're doing pretty well what i do have to keep track of is another joker tooth right there along with another one of these interview tapes. And now we're gonna do something pretty funny yet again, where we sneak behind this guy. He just has no idea. And they still have no idea. I do not know 
how nobody sees Batman doing this stuff, but they're just not the best guards in the world. So we make it through. We get a chance to see the Joker for a second, but he's going to run away. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to electrocute this water because it is electrocuted later, but for now, we're just good to walk through it. So that's pretty nice. And we're going to have to head through this vent because Joker got rid of the normal path over, but it is worth it to go through this vent anyways, because we have to solve that riddle right there, as well as go into this side pocket where is that like blood or something? What was that? Kind of nasty. I'm not gonna lie. I told you these vents get nastier and nastier as we go through the game. But yeah, we can head out through the other side. There's gonna be an explodey wall, which I don't wanna use a battering on. I wanna use my explodey stuff. And then we can go through this door, pretty much just walking through the entire place. This puts us in an interesting section where it's another one of these places where later in the game, we're gonna be doing a lot of platforming. But for now, we're mostly just skipping through it. And now at this point, we're just gonna be heading through a couple more of these vents until we see two people just bullying a portal worker so kind of got to feel bad for that guy but we'll take him out because we don't really like bullies so yeah easy stuff right there we then have to get this riddle which yes there is like a stone head right by there i do not know who decided to put that there but i guess we won't question it and we get one of the most annoying rooms in the game it's another one of these ones where we can't get caught otherwise people will die but this one is really annoying because these people are just weird anyways we're gonna take that person out first then we're gonna go grapple on to here and then we can also take this dude out by using one of those finishing out with a takedown and now the joker is going to say that he did catch us but the thing is this guy is very slow and doesn't go for the button to release the people. So yeah, we don't even have to worry about them. Now we can just go ahead, get all of those teeth, which that is going to make 10 and get the last guy who's checking on his buddy, which by the way, Batman definitely doesn't murder anybody. That guy definitely didn't die. That was scary. But yeah, the guys now get let down nice and easy and we can continue on our way. From here, we want to open up this thing, which is going to get us into a secret passageway. All we gotta do is hack it, which I say all we have to do is hack it, but that took me way too long, a little embarrassing, but that's going to open up this secret passageway, which puts us onto our next boss fight. Now the Joker has put his Titan formula in two different people. So we have to deal with both of them at the same time. Luckily, this actually makes the boss fight easier when there are two people to worry about. I'm not even gonna lie so what we can do is collapse one of them jump on his back and then use this guy to hit the other guy well at least if he wants to go in the right direction so yeah we'll just have this guy smack this dude around a couple of times please actually hit him dude there we go and you can see that the other guy is now collapsed so because that guy's collapsed we can now jump on his back and start attacking the other one so yeah this boss fight's pretty funny we'll just hit that guy a couple of times get him to stagger that is perfect now we can jump on this guy's back after batman just decided to kick him one time for no reason hit this dude a couple of times just like normal nice and easy go on the other dude's back Hit this guy a couple of times and yeah that is going to finish off one of these guys or it almost finished him off that's a little annoying that he has a tiny bit of health but we can pretty easily take him out by just doing a couple of attacks and now we just have to deal with the other dude we're gonna have to wait for him to charge us this time come on dude do, do not throw a body at me just charge me dude yeah sometimes the ai is a little annoying in these fights but there we go he charges us we can hit him with one of those and finally it's just a matter of finishing him off just like normal so that's going to be that part of the boss fight done and now what we want to do is set our explosives on these things so then that's going to get rid of the titan production and yeah pretty good job we did we're also now going to want to hack into this thing by just using our cryptographic sequencer nice and easy and stand by this gate so we need a new tool to actually make it over here and what we want to do to make that new tool spawn faster is wait until after batman says ravine and then just jump down here and save ourselves that's going to to make the batmobile spawn faster so yeah it just saves a tiny bit of time but the batmobile is going to come by and drop us our next tool which is going to be the line launcher which again batman is just going to awkwardly look at for a while because he he really likes looking at this thing. And yeah, all right, thanks Batmobile. See you later, dude. So the line launcher is really nice because first of all, it's really good for movement. We're gonna be using this thing a lot because it's fast and also it lets us get into a lot of different places. We'll use it to get that trophy and then go over here. We can also use the line launcher to go past this place, which by the way, those two people we worked so hard to save, the Joker killed them after he locked us in that room. So all of our work was literally for nothing, which is kind of annoying 
annoying, I'm not even gonna lie. But now we wanna do another one of these riddles where we just aim at that guy and just head outwards so now we can meet up with Ivy. Which of course, the line launcher is gonna be nice for us getting to Ivy because yeah, we can have this fun time going over here. There's gonna be an easy Riddler trophy for us to take and also some more Joker teeth that we can get rid of as well. Now, once we meet with Ivy, we're basically like, hey, we need the cure to this weird Titan thing. And she doesn't really agree with us at first, but eventually through threatening her plants, she tells us what we need to do, which is going down to Killer Croc's lair and stealing some stuff from him. So yeah, that's going to be our next main mission. But before we do that, we got to exit out of the Botanical Gardens. So we'll be heading back through this door to this platforming section that I mentioned earlier. Now we're not going to do all of the platforming just yet. There are a couple trophies we are going to want to get though. The first one being that one and the second one being over here here where we can smack that guy as soon as he shows up and make it over through here. Then that's going to be this other trophy and nice and easy, which now we can actually go and focus on heading out. For this part, we're gonna wanna go over here, take this left path, and there's going to be the same vent system that we used to get in here that we can use to get out. So I can head through that door, go up here, go through this vent, and yeah, pretty normal stuff. Eventually, we'll make it into this room where there are gonna be two more people. We can just hit them with our batarangs though, and then use our line launcher to make it over here before then go and smacking them in the face a couple of times taking out that guy as well so we can make it through the door. How did that not beat him? Okay, whatever. Now, once we make it into this room, we still don't want to deal with these people. So instead, what I'm going to do is take out that person and then go and dive above these people. For some reason, they are not able to see us at all. And that was just a little embarrassing on their part. I'm not even gonna lie. We can then get these Joker teeth. So that is nice as well, as long as get another one of these interview tapes. And there's also gonna be another Joker teeth right over there that we can get. And finally, oh, I forgot that we actually have to cause that cutscene first. I was trying to go fast and then messed up. But yeah, what I was saying is then finally we can use our line launcher over here to make it to the final part. Did I get that Riddler tooth? I did, nice and easy. And yeah, there we go. Now we can see that there are gonna be roots all around because the Joker decided to give Poison Ivy some of his Titan formula. So she's going to inhabit like the entire map and basically just like everybody else try to murder us. But we don't have time to deal with her just yet because first of all, we gotta go over to Killer Croc. But before that, we got to get some more collectibles. I mean, it's Batman. You got to do what you got to do, which we can get that interview tape as well as a Riddler trophy and conveniently head back down into this room where I don't think there's anyone anymore. Okay. Yeah, looks like we're good. So now at this point, we want to head up here, which I always check and I'm pretty sure every single time I see there's nothing, but I just want to make sure that there's no collectibles I have to get. So I don't forget those ones. But yeah, now we'll be heading over to this area because to get through the sewers, we have to go through the first area of the game, which is the IT. So for this, we go through the maintenance access entrance. There's going to be Oracle trying to talk to us. We don't really care what she has to say. We can get that Riddler trophy. And also Riddler's like, what have you been doing with your time? To be fair, I think we've been going pretty fast. We're not even an hour and 30 minutes into this game. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of like earthquakes and stuff going on. I'm just not too worried about it. And we just have some vent stuff until we make it back. So after crawling through the vents for a while, you'll recognize this room as one of the ones we've been in a while while ago, which is going to be the intensive treatment lobby. And right away, we want to open up this grate, and then we're going to fly over that person and immediately grapple up here. Now, this is going to cause people to notice me, but they won't be able to actually hurt me. And they're all going to try to head over to me to try to attack. But yeah, they're dumb. And we're able to use this to get and hack into this place without even having to deal with any of them. It's actually kind of hilarious. Now we can just do our regular hacking while everybody is none the wiser. And yeah, pretty easy stuff. That's going to open up some electricity so we can get into our next section. And here's also where one of the greatest fourth wall breaks in video games is, at least in my opinion. So we're going to be coming over here for a while. And then once we drop down from the line launcher, we'll see, did anyone catch the game last night? And the game glitches out. But this isn't actually the game glitching out. It's going to be Scarecrow yet again. And just imagine you're playing this game. You have no idea this is happening. And then this happens. So yeah, this is going to be our final Scarecrow encounter, but it is such a cool one. Now, right here, we're watching the regular opening cutscene of the game that you would normally watch. Obviously, we skipped through it since we're speedrunning. But instead of Batman taking the Joker to Arkham Asylum, the Joker is taking Batman. We then get this section where Joker and Batman are replaced. So normally at the beginning of the game, we would have this whole section where Batman is just walking slowly with the Joker. We're trying to take him in the asylum. But the speedrun community actually decided to skip that because there's just no real purpose in watching it. It's also like seven minutes 
So yeah, the speedrun community, they just decided we're not going to include this in the speedrun. So that's why you didn't see it at the beginning and why we just got right into the fighting. But this is also just a really cool part. I mean, I love this game so much, especially for the weird like kind of horror elements it has not really horror but a little bit and yeah we can see that scarecrow is the person that's examining batman so now we're just going to transform back into batman and just have to wait for them to finish their dialogue scarecrow's going to make fun of us for never dealing with our trauma which i mean we do have harley quinn right there we could use her as a therapist but yeah then joker's going to take a gun right to our head and shoot us so there we go which is going to put us to the game over screen so we press retry but then instead of putting us back there we're now at our own gravestone yeah this part is just insane just all the way through awesome part but yeah we can also see a bunch of batmans all over the place with all of his insecurities and things like that that he ignores and in general it's just another scarecrow part so we're gonna have to be fast and trying to deal with this dude he's gonna show his big meaty claws yet again and we're gonna try to not get caught by him so we don't waste any time i want to run to the right right away so yeah we don't have to wait at all for him and right at the beginning he's gonna start spawning some of his skeletons it's it's going to be a much bigger army so i want to wait a tiny bit longer so we can get as many of them with the explosive as possible which we got them all pretty good then we'll keep heading over to the right we're really just not waiting at all because there's no real purpose in doing that until right here where we have to wait for this to happen i'm going to be very careful in not getting caught because i really don't want to waste any time we see this cool scene where there's just scarecrow and batman chilling together you know hanging out like the friends they are and then we will oh i shouldn't have waited there well it happens i might still be able to make this cycle game oh my god oh, okay we barely made come on batman that almost went very badly but we either got lucky or something that that was terrifying anyways it's fine we can go through here take this elevator and then climb back up which we want to crouch immediately so we don't get taken by the scarecrow and then we can finish out this part by making it to the light just making sure that we don't get caught and there we go but scarecrow doesn't want us to stop so he's gonna put more drugs into us and now we're back in this place and now it is finally time for the scarecrow boss fight to deal with him we have to turn on all three of these lights one by one so to start out we have to take care of these skeletons i I can place some explosives and that's going to deal with three of them really quickly then we're just going to try to get a good combo as long as we get the critical strikes they're going to get one shot so yeah that's very important for this part of the run then i can go take care of these guys and that's going to be our first light turning on while we're waiting for it to happen though i'm also going to place down some more explosives since you know we have to wait anyways might as well do this and here's where one of the big skeletons is going to show up and we're going to deal with this guy like we deal with pretty much all the big guys and I, how did I even mess up? <laughs> I didn't throw my battering fast enough. But anyways, like I said, we'll deal with him like we do with all the big guys and just do that. Okay, that was a little annoying. But that is now going to be the second light turned on and there's only one more. So we can wait right here with the explosives that we have prepared. As soon as these people spawn, we're going to set those off. And there's going to be both the little guys and the big guys in this section. So we'll deal with the little guys first while we're waiting for the big guy to start charging at us. And there he goes. So we can start hitting him there. That's going to take care of him and there's only two more little guys which we can take out one and the other so there we go is there anyone left oh i i did not see that person. i was like there we go and then there was one more person but that's going to turn on the last light and now batman is also able to use that light to put it directly on scarecrow and that's going to be the final scarecrow section done so yeah feels pretty good also at this point scarecrow is like what is wrong with you dude <laughs> Are you still sane? Yeah, Batman goes through a lot of stuff. So at this point, Joker's like, you probably shouldn't fight it, dude. Just accept that you're crazy. But we're like, I'm not crazy. I'm Batman. So we're just going to keep going. And anyways, now it is time for one of the scariest sections of the speed run. Or at least it's almost time for it. Before we do that, we have to head down here where there's going to be one of these riddles we can go through that vent by using our zoom in and then heading back up here and then we want to use our hacking device on this place because that's going to allow us to collapse the other elevator which is going to allow us to go into the sewer so there we go right there none of those people noticed yet again the joker really needs to hire some better people i'm not gonna lie but okay now we're down here where there's another big boss fight or i guess not a boss fight just a bunch of goons and we'll be going one by one taking all these people out trying to get the critical strikes you know you 
you've seen this so many times at this point. I'm sure you already know what we're doing, but I think that's everyone. All right, that was a pretty good fight. And before we head out, I want to go ahead and get this Riddler map. And now we're going to be going down to Killer Croc. Now from here, there's going to be another one of these interview tapes, which is going to be for Croc. And we're going to go through this door where there's another cutscene. Normally Scarecrow is going to be down here and trying to stop us, but then he gets eaten by Killer Croc or not actually eaten, but he basically gets taken by Killer Croc. So we don't have to deal with Scarecrow anymore, but he did make this process a lot harder for us because now we have to go find the antidote directly in Killer Croc's lair. That's going to be over here. We see the keep out signs and all that stuff, but at this point we can't really keep out. And it is now time for the scariest part of the speed run for me. So first of all, we can't move too fast because if we're too loud in this, then Killer Croc is going to come out from beneath us and try to murder us basically. So a really good thing to use for this part is our line launcher. As long as we're using the line launcher, we're not actually making any sound on the ground. So Killer Croc isn't able to see where we are and we're able to go faster. But yeah, in general, there's just so much stuff I have to deal with and I do not want to play this badly at all. So I'm going to try to be careful for this one. I'm not going to rush it. And yeah, first of all, we get our little first appearance from Killer Croc right there. Just take him out nice and easily. Then we can use our line launcher to make it through here. And we can see the first sack, which has the stuff which will make the antidote. So we're going to take that down, gather the spores. And yeah, Batman can do whatever this is. <laughs> is he like putting it in a tube? I don't really know. But that's going to be the first one. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough for us to fully make the antidote. So we're going to have to get a total of five of those sacks before we can leave this place, which yeah, you can probably see why this is going to be very stressful. Now, I don't know how that didn't hit that, but there we go. We can get this second. Hello? Game? Oh my gosh. That was terrifying. Okay. Um... Yeah, things like that can happen sometimes. I was just trying to get the spores and then the game was not very psyched about it, it seemed like. Anyways, he's gonna appear again. This time, just being really annoying, dude. Come on, man. That was just messed up. I'm not even gonna lie. But okay, I just have to play this as careful as possible. He's gonna show up a lot, so I have to be ready for him to show up. And yeah, we just have to react to it. I think that I am now heading over here. I've done this path so many times, but it still confuses me because there's just so many twists and turns and stuff. And yeah, it was the other way. Even now I'm getting confused and Killer Croc is also right there. Um, dude, get back down, you idiot. And okay, where, I made the wrong turn somewhere. I think maybe we just go straight here and that was my mistake, but no, I'm gonna be honest, I am so confused. I have done this one so much and I'm still making mistakes with it because this place is just so confusing. And also I am very far into the speed run. So that also adds to the stress a little bit, but I'm, pr okay. It is this way. So we go this way first. Then we head over here. And there we go. Thank you. <sighs> Was, did that have to be so hard for me to figure out? Now Killer Croc is going to open up this entrance for us very conveniently. I really appreciate him. He's a very nice guy. And that's going to give us our next sack. So we can just chop that down. Okay. Not going perfectly so far, but not the worst thing in the world. That's going to be number three. So now he's going to open up this gate next, which again, I really appreciate it. I would appreciate if you were a bit faster though, if I'm going to be completely honest. But this one is really nice because our next part of the antidote is going to be right here. We don't have to go far at all. Also, we like line launch over there, but then it switches to us walking so it can do that cutscene. So that's kind of funny. But anyways, he's going to get rid of that stuff. It's not really a problem for us anyways, because we barely walk in this section in the first place and we can get those spores, which is going to make number four, which means there's just the last little bit of spores we have to get and actually escaping this place. So for this one, I am going to head directly over over in this section. And I'm pretty sure I know where to go for this. We're also gonna get Killer Croc to use a smash attack. So that's a little bit annoying, but it's also pretty safe because then we don't have to worry about making noise or anything like that. Then I think we head straight over here. Yeah, we definitely do before we make a turn and there's gonna be the last little bit. Killer Croc is behind me, but he's so far away that we just don't really have to worry about him. And we can take that last little bit, which that's gonna be all the stuff we have to collect. Now we just have to make it out of here. So from here, we'll start talking to Barber again, being like, all right, we got the spores and we're gonna turn on this thing, which is gonna be a sonar beacon for us. So we can use that to help us make our way out. But as soon as we get back to moving, Croc is gonna show up in this place. You just know he does it every single time. So we can take him out right away. And then immediately we move like the tiniest bit and he shows up again. This guy is insane. I, I, I don't know how he does it twice. All right, chill out a little bit, dude. But anyways, I just have to take Take a good general path and I'm dead. Wait, I'm not dead. Wait, I am dead. Wait, I'm not dead. 
I'm a pro at this game. I'm amazing at video games. Thank you very much. Jeez, that was terrifying. Okay, climb up the thing. Stop making so much noise. Batman! Croc, you need to chill out, dude. All right, we could be friends or something like that. Probably not, to be completely honest. But I could pretend that we could be friends. Anyways, we now have to head over here. I made a wrong turn somewhere. No! Okay, that's fine. I was making all kinds of mistakes anyways, but that hurts a little bit. All right, just pop out, dude. Oh, maybe he won't pop out this time. All right, a little bit of a time loss, but as long as we can make it out of here second try, I'm gonna be fine with it. I'm way too stressed out in the first place, and this place is just, it, it gets to ya. Okay, Croc, chill out, buddy. I'll get you right there. We'll go through here. I'm pretty sure I know where I made the wrong turn in my path. I had to go directly over here. Then we can go through this section where now we can go through there, which now we'll go back up here. And yeah, we are making a ton of noise. I don't really care. Croc, just don't come for me. All right, be a nice guy. It's not that hard. We're doing pretty well. Croc is somewhere behind me. I don't really care. I'm not talking to you. I'm not selling you Girl Scout cookies or anything like that, dude. And he's going to pop up there. That's going to open up a gate for me. So I do appreciate that. And right at the end, all we have to do is finish this out. Is this the wrong way? Okay, it's fine. Boom, it's this way. I know, I'm a pro at this video game. I'm so good at video games. I'm definitely not making any mistakes at all. He's not going to murder me at all. It is fine. Go, 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 go. Okay. Get him one more time. Oh, and now we can finally rest up. The game is going to save and we've made it through Killer Croc. That was a very sloppy Killer Croc, but the rest of the speed run has been so good. So I'm just not going to worry about it too much. Now he's just going to keep destroying the things behind us. But at this point, he's really easy. We don't even have to worry about him hurting us. But my heart is absolutely racing. This would probably have been a good game to have like a heart rate monitor on or something like that. But yeah, it doesn't matter. We're through this terrifying part. And now we can actually move on to some more fun stuff. Now we are going to get trapped in here, which means that Killer Croc is going to come after us. But luckily before this, we actually set some explosives. So yeah, we can just wait until he runs eventually. There we go. Boom. He is now down there and we will never see him again, at least for this game. So yeah, that was a... Uh... That was a time. Conveniently, we can now head out here. I'm going to use my line launcher and it just feels so good to be done with that part. Oh my gosh. There's also going to be a couple of Joker teeth right over here. So I'll get all three of those. And once we head back into the North sewer, yeah, this is the spot we're at, by the way, we can get another interview tape, which is going to be with the croc. And we're heading back over to the bat cave because now we have to make the formula. And I was not trying to do that. Did they notice me? Stop. Stop. That, that's not the thing I'm trying to do. Gabe, I don't know. My heart is still racing. I'm making a little bit of mistakes here and there. It is fine. I just have to calm down myself. At the end of the day, this is a very good run. I think it can sub three, which would be amazing if I could get. So yeah, I just need to focus up. But we're going to be making it back over to the Batcave, which finally we can make the antidote and we're also gonna get another tool. So yeah, we'll head over to the computer, do all the stuff that we need to do. And Batman will also decide that he needs to upgrade his Bat Claw to be the Ultra Bat Claw. And this thing is super convenient because on places like this, we can now destroy walls with it and it has three prongs so we can also use it on three enemies at the same time really good weapon to have or not really weapon a tool whatever you want to call it but yeah it is now time to head over here where we're going to be doing a platforming challenge oh by the way we are 50 percent through the collectibles we now have 120 so we're doing pretty good on that the second half of the collectibles are going to go a lot faster than the first half though so we're going to be done with this game in no time anyways time to head up there we can get that riddler trophy which was on that rock um batman apparently has to shimmy over the smallest amount to make it through there. Then we can head over through this area where there's going to be a place we can climb up and we're going to want to use our line launcher to make it down here where there's going to be another one of these trophies. I can just collapse right there, get that one. And after that, it's just time to head back over to the old sewer. So we'll just do some pretty basic movement to make it upwards and then finally over there. But as soon as we do make it over here, you'll notice that what I'm going to want to do is restart from the last checkpoint as soon as 
we get that save screen. That's because those enemies in the old sewer are still aggroed and we don't really want them to be. So instead, we're just gonna reset from there and go back to them. And now here, you're actually gonna get to see me use the Ultra Bat Claw on the enemies. We can hopefully hit multiple of them at the same time. And it's not exactly working how I would want it to, but it kind of worked, I guess. It's supposed to go for three people, but sometimes it only gets like one or two. This game is just weird like that. But now we can head up here. We're going to get this trophy because now we can get stuff like that. And we have to take care of these guys nice and easy. But yeah, that was a thing. Now at this point, there's tons of plant life literally everywhere. And we're not really going to worry about it because it doesn't stun us when it hits us. It just does a little bit of damage. And to be honest, I'm not too worried about it. But now it's finally time for our next platforming section where there are a lot of trophies in this section. And it's just cool in general. First of all, we're going to want to line launch over to this trophy, which we can pick up right there. Then we can line launch back here. By the way, the water is green because the Joker is trying to infect the entire Gotham River. So that's another subplot we have to deal with before we get to Poison Ivy. But we'll get that Riddler trophy as well. We're going to inch our way over here and try to do it very slowly so we can actually get the right angle. And that was perfect. Then we can be on our way through here and just make it upwards like we usually do. And now there's going to be this trophy, which I passed by earlier because I said we want other stuff like we do right here. So now we can use this line launcher so we can get this other trophy too. So yeah. Just makes sense to not get it earlier in the game so we can come back and get it later. Then we're heading upwards, but this time we're not going to the right because we're going on this path where there's both going to be a trophy right here and another one of these question marks. I have no idea how people even find this one normally without using a guide or anything. That one looks very frustrating, but that's another riddle solved. And now we're going to slowly shimmy our way over here so we can do another line launch over in this section. There's going to be this trophy as well, which I will quickly take as I'm getting murdered by a plant. I'm not worrying about it though. And yeah, we're almost done with this section. Just a couple more things we have to do. The first one being, oh wait, not yet. I have to make it to the slightly higher platform. Anyways, as I was saying, the first one is going to be line launching over here where there's going to be one of these trophies. And then we got to go to the tower into the pump rooms because we have to stop those so Joker isn't able to pollute the river. So we'll destroy that wall. And then we'll also do something that's a little bit messed up. We're going to pull all three of those people off. And you know that? They're probably not dead. Don't worry about it. It happens. And we'll also take care of this person as well. Now within these hallways, I really want to make sure that I don't miss any Joker teeth because I've done that before and it has ruined the entire run. Also, please pick up the interview tape. Thank you very much. So yeah, I am going to be on high alert for any Joker teeth and just making sure that that doesn't happen. But we can hit both of those people with one of those. Come up, use our takedowns nice and easy. And then we're heading over to the right way first so we can get our first pump. There are going to be that Joker tooth that joker tooth and finally that one as well and now once we're in this room right away we want to kind of use a bit of stealth at least at the beginning just so we can take out a few people nice and easy what we're going to do is use this weapon and pull both of those people off and they're probably not dead i wouldn't worry about it then we're also going to want to pull that guy off so he's probably also not dead Again, wouldn't worry about it. Doesn't seem like my problem. And yeah, pretty much for this entire fighting sequence, we're just gonna pull people because it's a very easy way of taking care of them. Because then we can just go for the takedowns and that should be everybody in this room. I also didn't mean to dive there. That was a bit embarrassing. Now we can open up this way, which is going to be another trophy. So we can line launch our way over there, see all these webs. Does Batman ever clean his suit? Like there are so many spider webs on this thing at this point. Anyways, there's going to be another one of these walls, which we're gonna have to open. In this wall is going to contain another one of these chronicles. So we're getting pretty done. That's like half of the chronicles. So yeah, not too shabby on our timing, even though the Riddler is still making fun of me for it. Now we're going to destroy the first pump, which is just a series of using the sequencer again, you know, the normal stuff. So that is going to be the East pump room. And now we just have to go to the other one. There are going to be two guys who are trying to stop us, but thankfully we can use this weapon and watch them do the exact same animation at the same time, which I love watching that. I don't know. It's just so funny. And yeah, there we go. Now we can head over to the other one. I'm going to make sure I have all my Joker teeth done on the way. Now on this place, there's going to be a couple more Joker teeth along with another one of these walls, which we're going to have to collapse. That wall is going to house a trophy. And then right down there, there's going to be that Joker teeth and that one as well. And we can go into the other pump room where there are actually going to be two of these pumps, which we have to hack into. But before we do that, we obviously have to get another one of these interviews. I definitely want to hear from Croc. 
after all that pain he put me through. And we're gonna go back to hacking, which we're gonna do from afar, which is really hilarious. It's another one of these places where these guys just have no idea. Then we have to wait through a little bit of dialogue where we're talking to Oracle before we go and hack the other one. Some of these people are literally trying to take things off the wall to throw at me, but I don't really know what their plan was to be completely honest. I mean, they were trying their best. That's gotta be worth something. But now at this point, we can head down here. There's going to be a couple more of these Joker teeth, which there we go. That's going to be 20, which is a huge burden off my shoulder. I'm glad we got that done. Now we have to prepare for another little mini boss fight. So what I'm going to do is place an explosive right there as we wait for the Joker to spawn another one of his enemy guys. He's going to close off this entire place so we can't just leave. And yeah, hopefully this guy will show up eventually. He takes a while. You can kind of just stand here and you know, he'll be here eventually. Joker, you're gonna spawn this guy eventually? I mean, come on, man. Okay, there he goes, finally. So right away, we're gonna wanna use the explosive on him, and then we can start attacking him, which hopefully he won't attack me back. That would be pretty rude. We're gonna do a couple of hits on him, and there we go. Now what we wanna do is I'm gonna try a trick. We'll see if I can actually get it and I wasn't able to. Basically, what we wanted to do was use more explosives on this guy, but it's really hard when there are a bunch of these guys around us, so I'm just not gonna go for it. Instead, we'll just focus on taking out the little guys since we have to take them out anyways. And eventually, the big guy's gonna come back up and we're gonna do the exact same thing to him over and over again. So, all right, I need you to charge at me, dude. Thank you very much. I can hit you with one of those. And then we can go take him down with a couple more hits. That's going to get him down his other health bar, which by the way, I actually forgot to do this. One thing we do you want to do is an armor upgrade. We just might as well because we have all the extra XP and it will make the rest of the game a lot safer for me, which, you know, I kind of like safe. We'll also get another battering power up and yeah, there we go. So we got to wait for this guy to get up again. There's not too much we can do. We could jump on his back, but there's no real purpose when there's only one of these guys. And I'm pretty sure it actually takes longer to deal with him when we do that. But all right, dude, I need you to run at me one more time. Just do it for me. All right, do not get bad RNG. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that, but I can hit you another couple of times. Please stop attacking me. I'm trying to attack this guy, dude. And we will take him out right there, which is going to be the big guy done. Now we just got to beat the little guys. So in general, we're just trying to do some more critical strikes just like normal. These guys are hitting me with lead bars. That is very rude. Sometimes I wish Batman didn't have to exaggerate his movements so much because it would make fighting a little bit easier. But yeah, there's going to be another collection of goons we have to deal with. Just pretty much the same thing over and over again. I'll talk to you when we're done with this. Okay, that should be all of the people, and now we can move on and actually go towards Ivy. But to do that, we have to take down a couple of walls because we can't go out the normal way, or at least it's not efficient to do it that way. So we'll go over there, scan that thing. Then we'll also collapse this wall as well, which will give us a very convenient place to then put these explosives. And with those explosives, we'll get rid of this elevator. So now that opens up another path for us. And finally, we can open up this place as well. So yeah, that's pretty much everything we have to do in Old Sewer is now done. There are a couple more trophies and stuff we will have to get in a bit, but for the most part, that's pretty much good. Now we are going to explode this wall, which gives us a nice little view of everything going on. We'll talk to Oracle really quick. And before we go and check out Ivy, there's actually a couple places we want to go to, to get some more trophies and stuff, which Batman, oh my gosh, dude. I've actually never made that mistake before. So that's kind of funny, but we'll take out this dude. He's not that hard. Then I will also go take care of those two things before then gliding down here where there's going to be some more trophies. I should probably also take care of this guy because because he is in a very unlucky place for me. And then it's gonna be time for some hacking to get into this building and get our next map. So yeah, I will take that map before doing some more hacking against this medical building place, which is nice. We can be right next to this plant and it might damage us, but it won't really matter. And can you please stop this earthquake? All right, that, that, that like messed me up a little bit. It was really weird. But we're gonna get that Riddler trophy before heading up this medical place. And then we have to go to the side of the building first before we go into it. It's now time to go back through a couple of the buildings and get the stuff we need. At least we're gonna do medical before Ivy. We'll get the other ones later. So we can get that Riddler trophy, which is gonna be on the side. And we'll also use our multi battering to get a couple of these dudes, just take them out and we'll actually be going through the front of the hospital. Now in this section, here's where we finally get to learn more about the Riddler. These are gonna be all of his tapes, which his view is certainly interesting. Basically what he thinks is that Batman is actually a villain. I'll talk about it more as we get more of these tapes. So I will go over here, collapse this wall really quick, and we'll actually come back to that Chronicle later. We just might as well open it now. Then from here, we're in the sanatorium where there is going to be one of these teeth, which I left earlier, so I can take care of that, get our 20 Joker teeth. Then we'll start heading through 
through all the rooms where we rescued the doctors. Each one of them is going to have another collectible that we have to get. So yeah, I'll tell you once we're in each of those. Oh, we can also use our line launcher on these hallways because a lot of them are going to be fairly long. So we will use that too. But first of all, we have observation where they're going to barricade the entire place, which to be fair, that's probably pretty smart. And we're just going to ignore them because I don't really care what they have to say. And we'll be going through this place, which is going to house another one of these trophies. So yeah, obviously we couldn't get here before because we didn't have the bat claw. And yeah, you kind of just wish that Batman would have had all of his tools at first instead of deciding not to bring them with him for some reason. But you know what you're going to do. He's Batman and all that. Next, we're going to be heading into the surgery room. And this is going to have an electricity field. So obviously it's time for some hacking. And once we get that hacking done, it's going to offer two of the collectibles we need. The first one being one of these Riddler trophies and the second one being this riddle, which we just have to take a picture of the night shift. So nice and easy, which yeah, the Riddler is going to start getting a little more upset because we're getting more and more of his riddles and he's going to be worried we're going to get all 240. Like I said, I'm pretty sure right at the beginning of this run, eventually he's going to become absolutely unhinged and like claim that we're looking them up on the internet and stuff, which he isn't exactly wrong. But yeah, x-ray room time. This is definitely a good place to use the line launcher because it's such a long hallway. So yeah, it just feels good to finally use it for once. And once we're in the x-ray room, there's only going to be one place we have to go, which is going to be the trophy within this wall. Or actually this one isn't a trophy. It's going to be another one of these chronicles things. So I can go right there get that scan, listen to this old guy again. I'm gonna be honest, I never really listened to what he has to say, but it probably is some pretty interesting information. Now we'll head back to the sanatorium where there are gonna be a couple of these vents that we can now get into. It actually is kind of crazy how much of the map opens up just because of the bat claw. It's probably the best thing for us getting all these collectibles because it's just useful in so many different scenarios. But we're also gonna wanna open this vent up so we can go down to the morgue without actually using the elevator. The reason we wanna do this is so we can take an alternate path You'll see that there's a vent right there. And on the way through this vent, if we take the left path, there's going to be Harley Quinn's room where we can get another one of these riddles. After that, there's going to be another collapsible wall. If you remember, this is actually the section where Scarecrow started showing up. So we had to deal with all that stuff. I got to be honest, out of all the places, I feel like the hospital is definitely the creepiest. I think it's actually also more creepy without as many people here than when there were the enemies and stuff. But obviously it's better for us getting these collectibles when there aren't the enemies because yeah. Now we're going to open up that electricity, get another one of these interview tapes, and we're actually going to be talking about the Riddler's obsession with Batman, as Batman is not able to move at all. <laughs> but yeah, Riddler is basically like, I don't think Batman is a good guy, like I was saying a little bit earlier. And he actually has some pretty good points because obviously he doesn't know we're Bruce Wayne. So like, how do we have all this money? And he thinks we got the money from stealing it from the criminals we defeat. So yeah, I mean, not the worst hypothesis, a little bit off, but I could see it making sense. Anyways, we're heading back into this room where we had to save Commissioner Gordon. There's going to be this Riddler trophy right there. And also a lot of the times I accidentally try to open up that great even though we don't need to <laughs> i just like press a and it happens but we're also going to be going to the place where bane was held so we can get that too which is going to be another one of these interview tapes and now we're going to start heading out of the building but this interview tape is really interesting because we can see the riddler is in a very good mood and the reason behind that is he thinks he's getting released now the interviewer is like well you're not getting released and he's like eh We'll see about that. Obviously, he's referencing the Joker's plan and yeah, getting out of Gotham and all that. But by the way, we just got the map. So I actually am going to use this to make sure we got all the collectibles we needed. There should only be one more. And yeah, perfect. Might as well take the little bit of extra time just to make sure I don't lose a ton of time later in the run. But yeah, we're looking good. And now we can just escape through the building. We're going to have to take the same way we took down up because obviously we don't have the elevator right now, which means we have to do this kind of weird platforming. But I guess it's not weird for Batman. He probably does this all the time and we'll go through the sanatorium back to the entrance where obviously there is this chronicle that we opened up earlier which means we can finally go and get it and that's going to be everything in the medical building so now we can finally be heading on our way to ivy but there are going to be a few more collectibles that we get before we go right there the first one being over by this building we can use our line launcher to make it over to this trophy we'll pick that one up and then we'll start flying we want to get a pretty good fly so we can make it over in this place and then we can also use our grappling hook to make it 
up here where there's going to be another spot where we can use this if it actually lets me <laughs> please game. And that's going to be a place where we see a couple of Scarecrow's fear gas containers. Then we'll be heading through Arkham East where there's going to be another one of these sections which we have to take down with the Ultra Bat Claw. That of course is going to give us a trophy. And now we can be heading through this section. As we get closer to Ivy though, she's going to start being like, hey, what are you doing? I can see everything. My plants know where you are. And we're like, okay, I don't really care. To be honest, they're a little bit weak anyways. <laughs> but yeah, she thinks she's going to be able to beat us. We'll see about that. Now, as we make it through this next section and get through this door, I can also pick up those two, which is going to be the 10 Joker teeth of that section. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. Then we want to head straight over towards this tower because there's going to be some collectibles and stuff we have to get. First, we have to take care of this dude. Then I'm going to switch to the multi battering so I can hit the guy in that tower and hopefully he won't snipe me or anything because that'd be annoying we can get these teeth that are gonna be right here and then we're heading straight over down and going to ivy at the botanical garden there's also going to be these teeth which i might as well pick up and yeah now we're on our way now if you remember last time we came to the botanical garden there's obviously that big route there so yeah we have to find an alternate way in the lucky thing is it's not very long that we have to go we can kind of just go through get that chronicle as well which i mean we have to do anyways and yeah now we're in ivy's domain we're gonna want to head over to this main room and we're not really gonna worry too much about the riddles so far because we are gonna come back to this building one more time later in the game and that's because for now we have to actually deal with ivy you'll see that something interesting is going to happen i guess you won't see it just yet because we skipped that cutscene. and we also get those joker teeth so that's gonna be another 20 but she has a gigantic tentacle plant thing so that's a bit unsettling. Well, she's basically going to be telling us to come towards her because she wants us to do our next boss fight against her. On the way, though, she's going to have these guards, which she can control. I don't know why she's even getting them to attack me, given that she seems like she wants to fight me. But I mean, whatever, we'll just say bye to them. And now it's finally time for us to get on to our next boss fight, which is probably one of my favorite boss fights in the game. We do obviously skip the beginning, and then we're going to switch between using the multi battering and just our quick battering to get the maximum amount of damage on to Ivy. We also want to skip these roots so they don't go and hold me, which would waste a little bit more time. So yeah, we're just moving around trying to get as much damage as possible. And eventually she's going to go into this phase where we're just not even going to worry about anything she does. So like she'll send attacks at us, but she's not going to do enough damage for us really to worry about. So I can just sit here and keep attacking her while she does damage to me. I mean, if I mess up enough, it could be a problem, but in general, I'm just not really worried about it. She's already through a lot of her health bar. Now she's using both of these roots at the same time, though. That's not exactly wanted. But yeah, we're just going to hit her with the rest of the stuff. Uh, try to dodge her attacks as we go through. And her boss fight should be done pretty quickly. Especially once she starts opening herself up again. I really don't know why she decides to do that. It feels like a bad idea. But she'll like open herself up for us to attack her, which I mean, I appreciate it. I'm not going to get mad at you. But there we go. That's going to be her first little like phase thing done, which means now we can use our explosive on her. We're going to place it right in this prison thing. I guess it's not really a prison. She wants to be there, but we can explode her and that's going to be the first part of the fight done. And the second part is pretty much the exact same thing as the first part, except now she's going to spawn guards. And the guards are not the hardest things in the world to deal with, but they're just annoying. They make us lose time if they hit us because they're going to stun us for a second. So yeah, I'm not really worried about them hitting us, but I kind of try to dodge out of the way. And of course, when I tried to dodge out of the way, I ended up hitting that. So that was a little annoying. But yeah, just pretty much the exact same strategy as before. We're just going to hit her a bunch and hope she dies soon. Okay, finally on to her second phase, which is going to be really nice for me. I'm going to be a little bit more careful this time and try to dodge more stuff though, because I really don't want to die here. That'd be kind of dumb. And it's a little more likely in the second phase than it is in the first one. But in general, exact same patterns. We just hit her. She keeps opening herself up. I really do not know why she's doing this from like any kind of standpoint. It just doesn't make sense on her point, but I appreciate it. Then we only have to do a few more attacks excuse me guys please move out of the way and she should be done right there so that's gonna be ivy done that gets rid of all the guards we don't have to worry about them anymore and we can finally finish her off by using some of the explosives and there we go now that's gonna immediately put us back in arkham north and we'll also see that there are a bunch of fireworks going on and i also flew in the wrong direction where am i going wait seriously i just oh I, i'm supposed to go over there all right that was a little weird i wasn't exactly sure what i was doing but we're gonna want to get that riddle right there and so basically joker wants us to head over so we can do his party 
which is basically the final boss fight. But obviously, we have a lot of collectibles we have to get first. The party does sound very fun, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do before you get to it. And there are gonna be a couple of pretty hard to get places like this one with this question mark, and I think that should be lined up. It's close enough game. Okay, thank you very much. We can get this trophy as well. And then there's going to be another one of these walls, which we have to use our bat claw on, which is going to reveal another one of these trophies. There's also a bunch of these guys who are going to try to attack us. So I have to be a little worried about that. I hate when they jump on me, dude. It's like kind of a jump scare for me. I mean, it's not too bad, but it's just like, it's scary, man. I don't want you jumping on me. That's weird. Anyways, we will line up this one. There are going to be two collectibles that we can get in this building, as well as there's a guy right there. I'm going to keep track of him. But yeah, riddle solved there. We'll get this CD. Please die, dude. Thank you very much. But yeah, we'll get this CD nice and easy. Did I get this riddle? Okay, I did. I'm just dumb. Now we're going to be heading up to this tower. We're right here. There should be some more Joker teeth, first of all, so we can take care of those. Did I miss one? I don't know. Sometimes this game is just confusing and I just want to make sure I get everything. But we'll also get that interview tape and now head over here where there's going to be this last trophy in this little section. So now we can go back to the sewers. Oh, in this interview, we can also see with Dr. Young that she is getting blackmailed by the Joker or something like that. That's why she did all the experiments on Bane. You know, probably should have never worked with in the first place but you know you don't always have too much of a choice so at this point we're gonna head back through the sewers and with the sewers we're gonna be able to go back into intensive treatment so yeah back in old sewer there's going to be one of these trophies which i'm pretty sure you've seen plenty of times and you've probably gotten mad at me for not getting until this point but we're finally actually getting that trophy so it feels good i will pick that up then head back down we can head back to the place where killer croc was thankfully we won't have to worry about him now because he got destroyed. Literally, dude got his ankles broken. It was pathetic of him. But we can head back up here where there is going to be this trophy. And then from there, we want to do a really long line zip where we can aim ourselves right there and boom, that one should work perfectly. We're gonna skip over all the grates and stuff like that, which could stop our line zip and just kind of murder us. So we don't really want that to happen. And I'm also gonna check really quick, just make sure I got the whole Riddler challenge for all this stuff. It's harder to check the map for this one. So I'd much rather just go through there. And yeah, looks like we're good. Now, obviously this is going to be another one of these entrances over to intensive treatment. So now we can go through this entire building. It's gonna start with us down here. So we're gonna be able to use our grappling hook, make it back up, which that was not the best grappling grappling hook of my life. And we're going to be wanting to take the right door first. We will come back here later, but there's plenty of stuff we got to get. So yeah, we're in transfer loop to start out. We're going to want to take this right path when we see that portrait. And that's going to lead us over to one of these riddles. We can go right through here and then take a picture of that. Easy peasy. He's also saying there's no shame in cheating, which... All right, you know, <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. Now we'll be heading through here, which you can see there's one of these vents and it really is crazy going back through these maps and like all the care they put in here, all the secret places, which I feel like, you know, if you don't have a guide, literally, how do you do this? But it is really cool. And also, yay, we found 75% of his challenges. He was literally just acting so cocky and then yeah, we're proving him wrong. Now there's gonna be a Joker tooth right there that we can take out. We can also then go ahead and do some hacking. And while we're waiting for the electricity to go down, we can also go inside of this and hop back out. So we get another one of these trophies. Then there's going to be this interview tape, which is going to be with Harley Quinn, along with another one of these trophies just up here. Yeah, the Harley Quinn interviews are also really interesting. Definitely not the best ones, but yeah, they're up there. Anyways, we're just going to be heading through the transfer loop. We can also see that there's one of those teeth right there. And from here, we want to head over to the left to one of the starting rooms we went to, where if you remember, there was that high hostage over there and we had to save them by going from the top so yeah we're coming back through here we can get this trophy first easy peasy on that one then we can see another one of these explodey walls which has a very interesting prison um kind of weird that they don't have like a gate for them to be able to look out but that is going to be another one of those before then heading over here where we can get rid of another one of these grates and yeah basically just heading through getting all these trophies nice and easy now we're gonna want to be on our way back down going through the processing corridor and from here I can head to the left and then take another immediate left which I'm actually also going to make sure that I am good on these trophies okay 
yeah, there's one that I have to pick up right over here. Just always good to make sure, you know, I really do not want to mess up here. I know I've said that so many times, but it is because I have lost so many runs to making mistakes. It's not worth it. But in this section, there's going to be the final Joker teeth that we have to get. So as soon as we get those three, that's going to be 20. Nice and easy. There's going to be this place, which is going to be our next riddle. And now we can head through this electric barrier place, which was set up literally at the very beginning of the game. So it feels good to finally get rid of it. And yeah, now at this point, we're heading back to the broken elevator place because there's some more stuff we're going to have to get over there. One of them is going to be in this control room. You know, the place where we took out the elevator earlier. There's going to be another one of these interviews, another one of Harley. Always love to see it. And now we have to do some more platforming. We we have to do the same platforming we did at the beginning but at least at this point we have some more tools so that'll be helpful but yeah you can also see that harley is starting to get manipulated by the joker by this stuff that she's saying so yeah that's pretty much how we got her in her clutches and then we'll also get that Riddler trophy and hopefully make that jump. I, it's pretty consistent. I don't think I've ever messed it up, but I'm always worried when I do that one. But yeah, then we're just going to keep heading up. There's going to be another thing we can get, though, through here. We'll go down through this place where there's going to be another one of these grates. And we can see these explodey walls, which will put some explodey power on, which is going to give us our next chronicle. So always feels good to see those. And yeah, now just time to head back up to the top. So once we make it back up to this area, there's going to be another one of these interview tapes in the control room yet again so we can listen to that hear some more harley talking always love to see that and at this point she's telling us that she thinks that batman is crazy which you know not exactly a false statement but anyways while we're listening to that tape we can also go and collect some more things by getting through this electricity which unfortunately for this tape we won't get to listen to the whole thing because there's going to be another harley tape which interrupts it and now we're listening to how they smuggled the stuff in and basically made it so that joker could escape at the beginning of the game while we're listening to that we'll also go ahead and get this if i can get the right frequency thank you very much where the riddle in this room is just going to be taking a picture of their picture so yeah that's not okay as i was saying taking a picture of their picture so yeah, that's nice. Sometimes I just get too out of myself. <laughs> it's bad. But now there should only be one last trophy that we have to get. I'm going to check the map just in case. And yep, looks like we're good. This trophy is the one that I pointed out at the beginning of the speed run because obviously we needed our explodey stuff to make it through there. And yeah, finally we can get that one. Feels good. So now we're just heading out of the building. So now at this point, I just kind of have to hope that I can remember everything we have to do. I believe for this one. Yeah, okay, I know. What we do here is first of all, we take care of those those two joker teeth and then we're gonna start flying down here we want to land on top of this building and then i can also check that those joker teeth were actually gotten before then we're gonna inch our way over here so then we can use our hacking device on that thing without getting attacked by any of the people which game thank you very much <laughs> gotta love how the riddler is still talking trash even though we're completely destroying him and yeah i'm gonna take care of this guy i think he was about to get in my way which that alerted another one okay maybe i just shouldn't have done that in general but yeah we'll take care of those two people just to make sure that they won't be able to jump scare me we'll get through here which is going to have both a riddler trophy and the map of this section and we'll be heading back up to the top of the building so we can go through the mansion again and get the rest of the stuff we need from here now in the mansion you can see that this place is completely covered by vegetation so that's pretty weird especially since ivy has already been dealt with but i guess you know there's still some repercussions of everything which sucks for whoever has to clean this up i am very happy i am not them but the first First place we want to head to is over in this direction and if you remember this is going to be the place right before we got our first scarecrow section where we had to save those people beneath the glass now this time we're going to head over to the electricity wall where we can do some hacking and get our next tape so that is pretty nice and also finally we get to start listening to scarecrow which like i said earlier is some really interesting stuff because with scarecrow's interviews basically what he's trying to do is convince his interviewer that he's actually the one who's interviewing him if that made sense. Basically, Scarecrow's trying to be the other person's interviewer, even though he's the interviewee. And he is going to use some pretty intense mind games to make this guy get messed up. It's a, uh, it's an interesting tape, dude. But while we're listening to that, I can go ahead, get that Riddler trophy, then make my way over through here. We'll see a couple of these survivors just kind of hanging out with the boys. And then this part is funny because we have to open that grate for the sole reason of getting that Riddler tooth. But yeah, there we go. That's 20 of them. Now we'll be heading 
through the west side of the building where there's going to be another wall which we can pull on and within there there's going to be a nice one of these interview tapes again getting to listen to scarecrow always a great time and that's then going to lead us to the records office which the records office is awesome because i get to do a really long line zip like just look at him he's, he's having such a fun time <laughs> okay maybe batman never really has such a fun time but i'm having such a fun time when i do that anyways the first place we want to go into is that place if it will let me sometimes my grappling hook does not want to lock onto the right place but then we can head down through here where there's going to be one of these trophies and then we'll head right back up the same place we came through next we're going to be heading towards the center of the room where there's going to be a place we can hack first so that we can get rid of this electricity wall if come there you go batman that's going to let us enter the restricted files but we're not going to go there right away because first of all we have some more vents to go through now within this place there's going to be our next interview if batman does not feel like jumping all over the place dude stop please okay there we go now we can get our next interview it just batman just wanted to have a fun time really quick you know you can't really blame him and now you can see that the interviewer is really starting to feel like scarecrow is getting to him and he also thinks that scarecrow isn't really crazy but he's just pure evil yeah this is a really messed up section but that doesn't matter for us because we're more concerned with solving some riddles like that one right there before now we're heading out of this spot oh and listen to this interview right now um there's definitely some stuff going on. Yeah, Scarecrow isn't really the greatest person in the world, at least on the nice scale. But we don't have time to worry about some random interviewer because instead we got to go through here where we're going to get our last interview tape. So yeah, we can listen to Scarecrow one more time if I don't want to go through that. That was dumb. All right, how you doing, Scarecrow? Your, your experiment is underway. That sounds pretty cool. So yeah, Scarecrow this entire time has been working on his fear gas, which obviously is the stuff that he's been using on us a ton and ultimately didn't really work on us. But yeah, we're gonna wanna head through here. This should be the last thing we need. I'm just gonna check really quick. And yep, no more question marks. So we're good on this building, which means now it's time to head back to the garden. So this time we're actually gonna be heading out through the front door. And there is a lot of stuff we have to collect around this building. First of all, we have those two teeth and that's gonna be another 10 Joker teeth that we have done. Then there's gonna be this guy, which we have to kick. Unlucky for him. And all right, so we're gonna start our collection right here where we're going to explode this spot. That is going to end up giving us one trophy. Then we can head on top of here where there's also gonna be another jump we do. And then right over here, there's going to be our next chronicle, which how is the subject obscure G game? Game, the subject is not a game. There we go. That's the chronicle that we needed. Yeah, I feel like this game gets harder the more you play because my brain just starts to die. Like there's so many things you have to remember in this speed run. I mean, obviously it's 240 things. And yeah, it really starts to get to you, but we have less than 40 collectibles we still have to get. So we're doing well. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the sub three hour, but we should at least still get a really good time. So I'm pretty happy with this run. Well, I can't say that just yet. We actually have to complete the run first and for that we have to solve that riddle which is going to be another one of the position ones along with getting another one of these trophies right on the top i also really just love the environment of this place you can really see it when you're on top of the tower especially with all the vines around everything and stuff like that the map is just constantly changing and looking so good this game in general just has no right being this amazing okay it does have a right being this amazing that's why the arkham series is so loved but you know what i mean so now before we head back into the garden there's going to be a couple more things we got to collect one is going to be right over here where we can get this riddler trophy if i don't try to just dive past it on accident then next there is going to be something in this shack we can get that one i'm also going to be on the lookout for any of the people that are going to jump on me i really don't want that to happen but we can get that riddle solved which is going to be the legacy of the island and now we can go ahead explode that get this other chronicle and yeah that's going to be all the stuff before we go into the garden so yeah just like normal we can't go in the garden the normal way so we're gonna have to take this slightly scuffed way you know it just takes a little extra time but i'm trying to go fast you don't have to do this to me ivy anyways most of the stuff we have to collect within the garden is going to be in the center room first of all we can go right over here and do some exploding which is going to reveal another vent in that we can go through to get one of these trophies nice and easy stop doing that batman just go fast oh yeah and now the Riddler is really starting to think we're cheating and all that because he's like, all right, dude, you have so many trophies at this point. What are you doing? And we're like, we're just not trash, dude. You know, you're, you're a little trash. It's a little embarrassing. But also, please, Batman, 
get the Riddler trophy. There, I am very proud of you. Yeah, he's like, how did you find that one? That one's impossible to find. And I'm like, dude, it took me so long to remember all this. All right, you just got to give it to me. But now we can head through here. There's going to be a couple of things on this direction. We'll head straight back through this entire path that Ivy opened for us very conveniently. Really appreciate her. She's a nice woman. We can also see these guards, which they don't look like they're having the greatest day. And we got to go back into this room, which is this super annoying room where those guys died, even though I worked so hard on saving them. I'm still upset about that. Why did the game decide to do that to us? But the reason we have to come back here is we're going back into the Titan production place because finally, now that we have the Ultra Bat Claw, we can actually break open this wall and get our next Chronicle. Then we're heading straight back through and we're going to that one platforming section that I mentioned earlier. I also will check. Yep, looks like we're pretty good on all of our trophies. We only have the stuff in the platforming section to do and we'll be done with this place. We have less than 20 collectibles left to get before we can finally go on to the Joker boss fight. So I'm excited, man. We're doing this fast. But this room could definitely make us go a bit slower because it is a little frustrating, especially if you fall off, you're going to lose a bit of time. First of all, I want to make sure that I have the perfect angle. And there you go, Batman. I am very proud of you. Thank you very much. After that, we got to do a little bit of shimmying, you know, Batman's favorite thing to do. We will make a jump right over to there. And then we're also going to hit that part. I love how the Riddler is still talking trash. Like, you know, I'm almost done with all your stuff, man. You should probably start like being scared, but we're going to open that entrance so we can go there a bit later. But before that, we have this place to go through, get in this trophy, nice and easy. Then we got some shimming to do. Not the greatest start place for my shimming, probably took like an extra second. That's really the problem with me. Whenever I speed run games, I always think about like a single second time loss. Yeah, sometimes I just need to realize I'm doing well, all right? This is a really good run. But anyways, we are are gonna get this one as well which I do not know how you find that one even the Riddler's like that one is impossible how did you solve it like if you don't have a guide how are you supposed to find that one is crazy but that is going to be all the stuff in here which now we can head to our next section I'm just going to make my jumps over through there and check the map one last time just to make sure we have everything done and yeah that's the gardens which means at this point we only have a couple more things in the overworld and one last building to go through until we finally defeat the Riddler and we can move on to the Joker. We are almost there, which I feel like I've said that a few times, but you know, I'm excited. All right. You don't know how many failed runs I've done and my voice is very close to dying. So I very much need to finish this up. Now we're going to be heading out of here the nice convenient way that we used earlier. So now that is going to be done. And immediately we're going right into Arkham East. And actually now that I'm thinking about it, I think, wait, oh yeah. Okay. I'm not dumb. There is one trophy that I have to get. It's right up here. I was just like, did I already get that or whatever? Now we're going to be heading through the north entrance and there's going to be some Joker teeth right here. That's going to be another one of those challenges done. And that's going to be all of the Joker's teeth in the entire game, which feels really good. That was the one thing I was very worried about because if we messed that up, our entire run was just dead. But now we're heading through this entrance where we can use our back claw and knock down this wall. That's going to have this trophy and you can also see there's another trophy on the other side so we'll be going for that one next and for that one instead of taking the inside path we have to take the outside one so we can just back claw right up here grab our trophy and be on our way now from here we're going to want to use one of these line launchers we want to aim this pretty precisely and I have to press x at exactly the right time which hopefully I can do this right and that was perfect all right I'm proud of myself um did I already get the stuff here I think I actually did. We'll make sure. Yeah, okay. I actually already got that one, so we don't need to worry about it. And we can head over to Arkham West. And in this corridor, there's going to be two different trophies that we have to get here as well. Both of them are just trapped behind things, which we can use our Ultra Bat Claw to get. The first one is in this little hole that we can get very easily. And the second one is going to be on this wall. So yeah, that is those. You can now see there is only one last thing on the map that we have to get. And then obviously we got to go back to the cells and finish off with that too. So now at this point, what we're going to do is use our line launcher for a little bit, but we're also going to trigger these guys because to be let in, they have to check the guest list and all that, which we might as well do it now. So we don't have to wait for it later. So they're going to be looking up Batman, you know, doing whatever they have to do, looking up Bane for some reason. All the while, I'm going to be going through here, getting this guy, another Riddler trophy. And to finish out, we only have seven left, which I also have to remember where these are. Did I miss one right there? I didn't. I'm dumb. Okay. It's fine. I just need 
to focus up, play well, and not be dumb. So first of all, we're just heading back through the main cell block where all the people escaped from. We'll see that this time they have added a little bit of electricity, so we will have to hack through there. But once that is done, we're finally able to use this entrance that we opened up like a really long time ago. So yeah, finally getting to this part. There's so much stuff that is starting to pay off and that's a really cool part about this run too. We can get that Chronicle, which is going to be our second to last one. So we only have one more to do. Now after that, we're going to spawn back here, go through the Poison Ivy room. And that's because we have to go right back up to where the Warden was so we can get our last Chronicle. And yep, there we go. That was his name, Quincy Sharp, the person who's been talking to us this entire time, by the way. Now, one more time, I'm just gonna check the map and looks like we're good actually what is that one? Oh, i missed one okay good thing i checked the map not too much of a problem because i know exactly the one that i missed or at least i'm pretty sure i do and i'm like 96 percent sure it's going to be up here which yeah probably <laughs> let's see is there a tape right here how did i not get that tape earlier that's a little bit annoying but not too much of a time loss and at this point there's only four more things we have to get so we're just heading in this direction first one we're going to be going into this vent and this is going to be our our last trophy which now we can see yeah riddler's gonna be like oh i'm losing patience i'm also very dumb and we found his location then we'll be heading over here towards the guard room we can pick up that as well go straight over here where there's going to be one of these things that we have to destroy and that's going to open up this room which i actually have to remember to actually use this launcher boom going to tear that thing down then we can line launch our way all the way over to this part where there's going to be oh i guess that wasn't our last trophy but our second to last one we can get our last trophy and also line up our final question mark which is how is that not lined up game there we go that is going to be all of our stuff and finally you can see that the riddler's like oh you must have cheated there's no way you would be able to do this and he's going to decide to go and attack gotham because of this but you'll remember that right before this we actually found his location and we're going to be able to use that also which way am i go okay i am going the right way <laughs> I am so confused. My brain is like dead at this point. So yeah, the police are finally going to go after Riddler. And yeah, feels good that that part of this speedrun is done. It doesn't look like we're going to be getting the sub three hour, but... I still think this is going to be a great time. We just got to finish off with the Joker boss fight and I'm going to be all good. Oh, by the way, I should mention that you will notice we are missing one of our tools on our tool belt. That's just something you can get through an upgrade. But for the 100% category of this game, they decided all we need to do is collect all the collectibles because there's no real purpose on upgrading stuff that we don't really need. Anyways, it is finally time to go into the Joker building and finish this off. Also, as soon as we enter, there's a bunch of people in here, which by the way, you can beat these people up and they'll all try to fight you. I wish I could do that, but you know, it'd waste too much time. And now we get to see the Joker with a TV on his head, you know, just having a good old time. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I've been looking forward to finishing this speed run. So yeah, turns out to be the Joker and now he's gonna set off a bomb. We just have to wait for the long countdown. Not really too much we can do to speed this part up. Also, we're not even going to try to escape from the bomb because there's no real purpose. I don't know if Batman just doesn't believe him or what exactly was going on there, but who really cares? Anyways, we now get through our entire bomb confusion, and now it is finally time to chase the Riddler and finish off this entire game. So as soon as we spawn in here, we're going to skip this cutscene. But basically, he has two people in their Titan forms, and now we have to deal with them both. So for this fight, it's pretty much like all the Titan fights we've been doing, where all we're really doing is throwing stuff at them, punching them a couple of times, and yeah. I do kind of wish they went for a slightly different fight for this last part, but I guess it is what it is. So we'll get both of these. We can just get them to start smacking each other if this guy wants to go in the right direction. Dude, I'm trying to go fast. I don't want you to waste any time, dude. And come on, hit him a couple times. There we go. Get him into that stun animation. So now we can jump on his back. Now we'll go for the other guy. And yeah, you've seen this fight plenty of times. <laughs> There's not too much to explain about it. The annoying part is the other guys that are all around us, but we don't even have to hurt them at all. As long as we take care of the big guys, we're going to be able to go to the next part of the fight. So yeah, we're just going for these dudes. But we should be able to finish off the first one right here. We just have to smack him a couple of times. Nice and easy. We'll make sure we go right up to him, finish him off with a couple of punches. And then we just need the other guy to be dead as well. So we'll wait for him to charge at us. Please, get, dude, come on, give us good luck. Game. 
Okay, there we go. We got that thing. He's going to start charging forward. I'm not even going to bother to dodge it because, yeah, we can just take him out right away. All we have to do is go for a couple of more punches. And there we go. That is the first part of the boss fight done. We can just beat these other people up because might as well at this point. And eventually the Joker is going to be like, I'm the Joker, baby. And put us to the next part of the fight where he's actually going to consume the Titan power himself. So yeah, now we have Titan Joker, who is actually terrifying. But this fight also isn't terrifying. <laughs> All that happens, at least for this phase, is he's just going to keep trying to swipe at us. But he's also really slow. So that was kind of pathetic. Then he sends some guys out so they can try to attack us. We'll set a bomb right there to take care of two of those people and yeah it's just some more general fighting you know the drill we're trying to get our crits all of that stuff and we're trying to take care of these people as fast as possible so we can actually damage joker that's going to be all of them now i can switch over to the ultra bat claw joker is going to reveal his back to us which means now we can start pulling at him and as soon as he falls down he's going to be in the prime spot for us to hit him in the face like two times and yeah that's one of his health bars done so now we're just going to go and repeat this again the joker is going to go around swing try to hit us he's really not good at this one of these days he will be and eventually he will give up because he kind of sucks send his guys back out and repeat the exact same thing i do kind of wish they would have made this boss fight a little bit better but i mean it does change up a little bit you can see there's now the guy with the knives so we have to press b on him changes it up a little bit i guess but yeah they could probably have done a little bit more for the final boss fight can't really complain though because the game in general is so good so we'll hit our boy again with our ultra bat claw i don't know why he made the same mistake twice why are you looking around dude but we'll get him with two more hits take out another third of his health bar and now there's only one more so he's gonna go for a couple more claw attacks just like normal it won't kill you to smile bats i mean i am having a pretty good time <laughs> this is such an easy fight I just got hit. That that was a that was that was a little embarrassing, but it's okay. Anyways, back to the same old, same old. We're gonna explode some people, go back to doing some punch fighting, and yeah, eventually these people will be dead. So we should be finishing up them with a couple more hits, and I'm pretty sure that's everybody. The helicopter is gonna come back around, which puts us in the perfect spot to use our ultra bat claw one more time. And then as soon as he falls down and we get into this cutscene, that is going to be time 30451. What a great run. Oh my gosh, I am so excited that it's finally done. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering what happens at the end, Batman decides to put his explosive power on his fist and my dude goes in and punches the Joker with his fist having the explosions, which I feel like would hurt him a little bit, maybe even more than it hurts the Joker. And I guess not maybe more. He probably has some really good gear. But yeah, there we go. The Joker is now done and we have beaten Arkham Asylum 100%. Which looking at the speedrun.com leaderboards, that's gonna put us in sixth place and I'm pretty happy with it. All right, subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye.